there's not really too many art too much art in this game, but Mr. Game and Watch's hammer is definitely one of the more exciting ones. I mean, anywhere from one to nine, obviously the higher number that the more powerful the attack. But you never know what's gonna happen, you hold the nine. But now is the nine almost a guaranteed knockout? Pretty much. I mean, regardless of regardless of health. So, sorry. It'll be the ball tournament is after the 64 in the league, so it'll be when these guys are done. And then, so, so just a reminder to you guys out there as well. Um, if we get to the championship round of the Smash 64 and the Wii U, uh, we'll be switching games. Uh, we saved the championships for last. We'll be setting up Super Smash oh. Brothers Brawl for the Wii. Game and Watch and refusing to the exit this match. Yeah. Oh! He's saying I'm gonna go on my terms. He got the nine, but he didn't connect. Oh, this is crazy. oh wow, Game and Watch just turning it up. Pro level here. Zelda right. kind of losing her cool a little bit. Oh, oh, oh my oh, goodness! No. Oh, oh, oh the recovery oh, geez, and the, the shield. shield. Well, he's he's clutch right now. He's sweating. Both I mean, heroes definitely. Both heroes nails. definitely. Oh, there, there, it is. there it is! Wow. Zelda Game and Watch. Game and Watch Sports definitely sure. deciding to turn it. It's like he uh, woke up from his nap halfway through the match there. Whoa, we're playing Smash. All right, okay. So. Still the outcome the same. Still the outcome the same. But uh, I, I tip my hat, my invisible fedora, to Mr. <laughs> Game and Watch there uh, for for that like end game, you know, goal line defense, so to speak. <laughs> you know? Yeah, definitely. Uh, okay, so probably going to be moving on. Let's see if we can get a, a head count here of where we're looking at. The next setup is probably going to be yeah, just the final, final two. Just go to the final two. Yeah, so one more match. Mm -hmm. One more match. One more match. We're not that drunk. <laughs> All right, that's what I thought. Okay, next bracket is uh, Anum versus. Panther Max? Okay. Yep. Um, yeah, Adon, he's, uh, he's, he's really strong in the first round. Yeah. Uh, he, he definitely seems like a really strong fighter. Uh, going for Greninja right away, that's my man, that's what I played in the previous Well, both, but, yep, and both of these guys, uh, both of these guys are obviously facing off. They, they were both the winners in their previous yep. games, but these were kind of some of the players I talked about earlier where, you know, these guys were going against some pretty difficult players already and you know the fact that they're they're moving on and they took out someone that good is it's it's you know it's a win and loss because one you lost that other player you know that other player is not in the tournament anymore um, but that being said now it's the best of the best going against yep. each other so I think as these brackets continue and as the day goes on we're, we're gonna be seeing nothing but five star uh, matches against each other. I definitely agree now now it's in the early brackets I mean would you would you rather have a you know, close contested match right away, or as a player, do you, do you want to win the first one handily? Oh yeah, that's a, what, yeah. What would you rather? That's a good point. Have? I mean, I think from from the casting from the casting side of things, you definitely wish and hope that every bracket is MLG worthy. I mean, from from the first to the last, you want everyone to be just gods among men killing each other, you know, but uh, from a play standpoint, I know when I'm in a tournament, yeah, the, the most ideal thing possible is to almost kind of get, you hope for that hand being out, you know, Just the, to get those first round yeah, jitters the, out of the way. Yeah, you want to get the first round jitters out of the way, you want to, you want to, and you want to get into the zone, there's something to be said for, as a player, needing to lock in, you know, you could have practiced all week, all month, all year, you could have been born with a game two controller in your hand, but you're still going to have to show up and kind of get in the mindset, lock in a little bit, and you don't want to be doing that against someone who's just god mode turned on, yep. you know? And uh, I've seen a lot of guys in a lot of tournaments where they were shoo they were shooing for the win, for the gold, and they're knocked out round one because they, they just couldn't they couldn't get in the zone. They didn't have, you know, they went up against a really hard opponent right away, and uh, yeah, outed right away. So yeah, that, that's a good question. All right, well, this is easily a very well matched. They were both well yep. under their hundreds, down to their one stock, so these guys definitely putting on a great show. Yeah, full um, match reset. You know, they both started uh, their second stock with zero. Oh, and no. Ninja. Oh, oh, oh grab no. It. Didn't grab it. So looking for maybe the slow far. play. I know you have to get below map a certain amount so you can finally use a couple of jumps and things like that, but 
I guess Ike waited too long, realized he had uh, made a mistake and there was no time to recover. But just lean in with the wind, but that's why there's best of three. There's definitely still time. Yeah. And they put up a great fight, so I won't count him out yet, but Ike is a solid player. I don't know why. I think he might have this next one. Yeah. Never know. I mean, I, I think it's funny that the matches seem to be progressing so fast by default, even though we uh, we knocked the stock down. I feel like these matches would still be flying by even if we were doing the yeah. stock. It just seems like either A, I'm seeing a lot of uh, player uh, oh, mistakes like I didn't see in the first round. There's a lot more cold calculated uh, players in the first bracket, and now uh, it looks like a lot of people are going for blood. Yeah, they're, they're kind of going for broke. Yeah, leave, leaving aggressive. it all out on the battlefield, so to speak. But that being said, when you're going all out like that, you're seeing a lot of guys flying off the level and not being able to recover. You know, we saw the Ike last round where you know he thought he had a couple of jumps in the hopper and he turned out he didn't have them. You know, and so that being said, I could just see whole stocks disappearing out of. Out of, out, you know, of S, yeah, out of suicide. That's, that's vintage mistakes. Josh. I mean, especially he's been edged a lot. One of his moves is A down. He, very, he pretty much just jumps straight down. Now, if he doesn't connect with anything, you're dead. So if you try zoning out of it, you hear that A down, you're losing the stop. Mm -hmm. But if you hit it, you can continually bounce on it. What are the strategies for him? So it's kind of a all or nothing kind of deal. Like, uh, right, with right. only two stocks, you really can't be making those kind of mistakes. You can't be making those risks. Uh, you gotta be excessively you know confident exactly. in that, in your ability to do that. Your your Greninja gotta be on fleet. It's gotta be on fleet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's gotta be on fleet. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Like one of my go-to heroes is uh, Captain Falcon. And that being said, uh, you know, half the time I lose to myself. Yep. It's a half the time I'm fighting myself in, in the match because I will be, I'll be absolutely destroying my opponent. But I will lose simply because uh, I will the kick off the screen or. Uh, yeah, you know, you'll do like, you, you can do the kick downward, you can do like a diagonal tilt down, and that can be basically a uh, death sentence, you know. You're near the edge or something like that, or you miscalculate, you dive down, and you're just meteor, <laughs> you're just gone. And there's no recovery, because he has so much delay on a lot of those abilities. And it's funny, because I've actually been seeing a couple of the Falcon players on the 64 side of things, not even using his abilities at all. They're just, they're just boxing. They pick, oh. they pick Falcon and they're just punching each other because no one wants to even deal with oh, nice. the punches or the or the Falcon dives or anything like that. You know? Well, the other side of that too is a lot of these players haven't played the 64 version before. True. So, True. Uh, but you know, it's really I'm, I'm glad they're enjoying it. You know, they've had a lot of good feedback from them. Mm -hmm. There's a couple when I was asking when did you first start playing 64 or uh, Smash. There's ones like my grandma had it when I was three. And I was like, nah, it's crazy. So, but yep. there's other people who are like, I wasn't even bored when the game came out. I didn't know what it is. So yeah, I was just gonna say a little, a little. If you haven't felt old yet today, fact is uh, a good majority of the kids playing in this tournament today weren't even born when 64 was around, and were probably toddlers at best when the game came out yeah. on the shelves. So, there you go. That's your the more you know fun fact of the day is you old. If, if you grew up playing the 64, guess what? You old. And that's okay. But, uh, you know, back to the game here. Just like last round, both of uh, both of them are pretty much feeling each other out. It's a lot of, uh, it's a lot of uh, control. I've, I've noticed a lot from this uh, in them guy that uh, he likes the center. You know, he likes to stay in the center with his Greninja. And uh, he kind of forces them to either A, come to him, or as you can see, he almost wants them above him, and he just punishes them. Yeah, the other thing with, the, with this, the with this uh, map too, the, the greater battlefield, the large battlefield, is you're going to see higher percentages. It's hard to knock the block. There's such a high ceiling, and oh, that it, it's, huge. it's a bigger, it's bigger, so it's definitely really good at prolonging the battles. There it is. There it is. There it is. Right. A&M, solid player, moving on. Yes. So Anum uh, kicking out uh, Panther Max. Yeah. So Panther Max being uh, being eliminated. Anum moving on. Anum moving on. So. Yep. Uh, next up, we're either going to be seeing Menthol versus 1943 Fighter, or depending on bracket conflicts, which. 
doesn't look like there are any. So that should be our next matchup. Uh, if not, we might see a Swagmander versus a Chip 007. And I believe that uh, that would be Chip's first match. Uh, no, no, Chip played the first. Did they? Oh, yes, yes, they did. Yep. So, uh, yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see what's, uh, what the next match is. It looks like it is going to be menthol. I, I recognize the, the green and gray jacket from when I was uh, helping out with the 64 bracket. So, yep, it is going to be menthol versus 1943 fighter. I wonder if he's a plane enthusiast. Like, or he's yeah. like a time travel. A time travel. That, that was my second guess. Yeah, you never know. What plane enthusiast or time travel. I mean, those are really good. I'm trying to think what else happened in 1943. I can't. <laughs> what I can't think of is we have a Dark Link versus uh, Lucina here. Lucina, okay, and then she's kind of a, she's a fire emblem. It's definitely a sword fight, for sure. You know, the thing with Lucina though is she kind of has a, like that large kind of uh, style. So. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, a little faster, it looks like, though. Yep. Kind of uh, maybe substituting speed for power. Maybe that would be the big difference. But the thing with Link is Great such, up. A, such a good arsenal. Great up attack. Different, like, different abilities. He's just going at it. Um, he's getting punished, though. See, he's uh, he's got a good arsenal, but almost all of them have delay at the end of it. You can tell right there he missed the smash and got punished for it. Ooh, it's because Link needs to connect on his attacks. If he doesn't, then he needs to pray that, uh, that he's not... You know that he's not in that range of a punish after that. Great. You know? It definitely looks like 1943 uh, fighter is really good at predicting where he's going to be. Mm -hmm. is. So you can tell that he's definitely experienced with the game. Uh, and we're yes, there we go. I was going to say both heroes are very close to the red zone. Let's see if uh, at this point Link just kind of wants to rack up some cash. Couldn't do it. Yeah, at that point, you just want to try to rack up as much damage oh, yeah. as you can to get to get in that advantage. But match reset, going into the second and final stock here. Literally trading damage back and forth. It's you know the tens, twenties, and they're both could probably get into the thirties here. Yep. This is anybody's game here. Turn Link. Out with that, with that cycle followed up by the arrow. It's um, one thing you know I saw a lot in the first round is players would spam one ability because it would work. And I really just wanted to be like. You know what's coming when you do something. Exactly. But, uh, I don't think that's going to work that well in the second round going no, forward. No, definitely. These guys are definitely better than that. You're going to be you're going to be facing heroes that are going to read right through that in a heartbeat, and uh, on top of that, you're going to have to be forced to be more versatile because of the fact that uh, even if that works the first round, I can guarantee that the second fight they're going to be switching up heroes on you. They're going to find a way to counter that, um, and that's fine. Like we talked about earlier, that's fine to, to kind of do what you got to do to get through that first round. Uh, Get into the meat of the tournament. But, uh, after that, you got to start bringing yeah. your A game, or you're going home. Kind of one thing, one thing Adam does is he uses his special. Oh, special where players. was the punish that could have been the game right there? Um, one of the things he does is his main doesn't even bring him out. I mean, he's confident enough that. He, you know, oh, nice edge. Nice call. Yeah, with the Menthol as the link was really trying to slow that game down. Link's, link has to control the pace of the fight. He has to. And uh, I saw there for just a brief moment, kind of in the middle. Uh, that he was trying to slow down, you know, he had his boomerang out, he was doing his long range arrow. You gotta slow it down, but man, that was, you know, was a tight pick. She has that speed and that, that Marth-like power, and she just was in, out, doing all the damage she wanted all day, and uh, near the end of it there. I saw a couple of opportunities where, where the Link uh, menthol he could have, he could have punished. Um, but other than that, I think, I think that was he just kind of out, out danced him. We're gonna go for the same final destination, same heroes. And just, and just, and just, and but that 1943 fighter, she's so good at picking where Link is gonna be. Uh, if you notice, she's really not missing any attacks. Oh, oh no! no! Making the mistake that is huge. Yep. Link is a very long uphill battle to go. You don't want to see that already with Link already being behind the eight ball, uh, the menthol already being behind the eight ball with one match. Um, down. You know, now he's one match down, one stock down. Even if he can take Lucina out, he's going to be taking damage um, on the stock unless he absolutely turns on Beast Mode, which he which kind he, of is really right is. now. No, Lucina needs to start There's that zoning I'm talking about. See, once oh, you can get that control, yeah. once you can get that control oh, really and zone, the there it is. There it is. It is. Finish it. Not over. This is not oh no, the turnaround on Lucina though. There it is! Good. All right. Nice smash, nice return. This See, doing a way better job this round of controlling the game. 
on the attack. Great, great job. That's nothing. That's, 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 the, the, that's, that's the best you can hope for. And, and if, if you were a menthol right now, this would be the, the best situation you could hope there for. There he goes. Ties he's got, up. Back to the he's got he's center. Extreme. He's got control. And like I said last match, this is what you're looking at here. You're looking at the link. You know, he's got that combo of abilities. He has to use it to control the match. And that's what he's doing. He's, he's taking that speed away from the Lucina. Great read on the counter there. He was, he was waiting for her to, to, you know, end that. Oh, Ooh, this could be it. There. This could be it. This could be oh, one. That is it. Oh, the goal it up. We're, We're going, going to game, game three. three. Menthol just bringing it back, man. I guess he just needed to work that first match out. Yeah, the first round. Oh, you know what it was? He needed. He needed the. I don't need a stock. You know, exactly. he, need, he needed that uh, red line moment. You know. This is what was own, but I know he did not. He didn't play in the first round, so. That first match could have been that first match where is just getting it out. Oh, definitely. So. Could have been, it could have been another part uh, sort of feeling out his opponent too, you know? That's also true. Kind of figuring out, okay, you're going to play Lucino. Okay, this is kind of what you're going to do. This is how you're going to come at me, you know? And, and, and if you win, fantastic. If not, uh, you know, we'll go into game two. And that's what he did. He definitely, We definitely saw he improved and compensated for, for the change in 1943's fighting style. So now... This is literally the deciding game. This you know, one thing from 1943 that I'm not saying is he's not using the counter though. Now there's downsides to using it. You know, he's you open it and miss. But she's um, been trying, but Menthol has been reading it. There, not, there was one right there. I was gonna say she's probably done it four or five times, and apart from that last one, Menthol has oh, seen him about a mile away. Like, what a recovery! Holy cow, just had to check if the bulbs were working underneath the level and she came back and looks like everything's yeah, good. Yeah, good. There it is, wow. All right, Down she's to one. have to get a quick kill on this. You don't want to rack up, you don't want to rack up percentage, you just want to get the kill and control the map. So yes, we'll see if she can do that. I mean, that being said, Link now finally kind of getting into the red was still well within the, uh, you know, the non-killable range. Um, see, like right there, right she's there. in 100. She needs a good smash to get him off the level. Ideally, I would think she'd want to keep her damage below 30. You know, so right now she's going to want to try to clean that up. Okay. Now, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Got go the ahead. smash. Got the smash. Oh, there it is. There it is. Resetting here, so this is not over, boys. This is so it's a mirror match now. This is the exact situation that Menthol was in last match. He's right where he wants to be. He's racking up more damage. Yep. This really is looking good, but anything can happen. You know, if you make the mistake of going off the stage, uh, that, could, that could be it. So yep. it's, you know, it is his length. It's a battle for the middle. It seems to be whoever can can get their character into the center area immediately starts racking up the damage. I mean, now Menthol's back in the middle. He's uh, he's bringing the hurt on. Oh, great counter! That was a nice air stall there. We're traveling through oh, a nice a music video, and now we've reached the darkness. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, it's oh no. no, the recovery is real. It is not over. Great air stall. Oh, oh, oh wow. Oh, wow. oh. oh great match. Between Lucina guys. saying, I will not go quietly. Menthol coming back, losing the first one, going 2 0. Great job. Menthol, wow. And great, great gameplay by 1943. Do we want to try to grab uh, one of them for an interview? Yeah, I think we yeah. need to grab uh, wherever you can reach. Hey, Krems. Can we grab one of them guys for an interview? Yeah. Menthol or. Uh, we'll we're... take either. Yeah, yeah we'll so... take either. All right, so we got Swagmander. And I'm trying to remember the other guy's name. Oh, that's. Uh, I think it's that's, that's Chipped. Chipped 007. Did he change his name? Because I thought it was, it was Chips, but it was supposed to be Chips. So we have Chip 007 versus Swagmander. Right and, on. And uh, we know Swagmander is going to use the Yoshi. How's it going, man? And first see. off, we have Menthol here. So you lost the first match, came back to win 2 0. What was going through your mind after you lost that first match? I think I'm going to die. <laughs> So you thought you were just gonna lose right away? Or? Yeah. How did how did you come back? Take us through the comeback process. How did you come back against the 1943 fighter? Well, mostly just tried to avoid all the counters and all those charges. Yeah. And then I think I just had to get out of there as fast as I could. Yeah, I definitely noticed you were, you were definitely using your, your repertoire to, to zone around and stuff. Seemed to work. You guys definitely traded back and forth. So, is that the toughest Smash game you've ever played? Yeah. All right. Well, perfect. The links for your words. I'll let you get back to resting here. We'll probably yeah. good luck for the rest of the tournament. Right. Thank you. All right. So now we welcome back up. 
And I didn't see what these guys hero spec, but I think Specmander's bringing out his Yoshi. He's got the Yoshi hat. And we saw it in the first round, and uh, he was one of those. Yep, he's got that. He's got that yellow Yoshi. So if it ain't right broke, away, don't fix it, man. Exactly. But the problem with it is he's the one spamming that ability. You know, that's what I noticed right away. He just goes for those B downs. But uh, with Lucina, he should counter those. And, uh, he's not looking so hot for sure again. Yeah, I, I noticed uh, the Swagmander, you know, he's Yoshi all the way. He was playing in 64 brackets. He's played it all the way through the Wii U so far. And, uh, I mean, yeah, he's, he's spamming, but uh, he, he understands the character's abilities, you know. I mean, we're seeing the, we're seeing the eggshell roll in there. We're uh, seeing a couple of the stomps. He's getting the swallows in. I mean, honestly, he's playing He's playing a, a, a pretty normal character very, very well. Like, Yoshi isn't, isn't what I would call, like, an advanced character um, in Smash. But that being said... You can win. You can win with non-advanced characters if you if you know them inside and out. Yeah, I would. You know, I would definitely say. You know, I know I complained that he was he was spamming those moves, but I definitely know it's Yoshi's moves that how to use it. Definitely. Mm -hmm. so, and with Yoshi having a lot of natural recovery, almost all of his abilities have a really slow or a really fast reload time afterwards. So even with misses, it's really hard to punish. That was a great read on that. A great smash. Yep. We'll and, see uh, if Swing can come back here. Yeah. He, and he has the foot speed to, to really, you know, to duke it out with quite a lot of the faster heroes. I mean, we can see that he's more or less keeping up uh, agility-wise with this Lucina. Trivia time. What's the name of the place in the background? Testing your gaming ability, your gaming trivia. I might be wrong on this, but... Um, what game is from at least? It's from Mario. Isn't it? It's from Super, Super Mario Sunshine. Oh, well, then I got nothing. I never played Sunshine. I never played Sunshine. Right, right. I saw warp pipes, though. It's like Delfino Plaza or something like that. Cool. I just want some sunshine. I just, you, gotta, you gotta make things interesting. So what are we assuming we're riding on? Uh, we're like riding the, on the, well, it's definitely like the, the rainbow Megatron 5000. Yeah. So the, 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 the city, you know, they have this travel budget. And uh, one of the ways that they you know, say, hey, look at this, this city is they have this rainbow floating thing. Because as you can see, you get a good outcrop yeah. of the city. So it's yeah. like, all right, I want that hotel because it's what you can see from there. And, you know, it's like, you're on this side, you know. The shadow. It's just it's like a drone, you know? You get an over <laughs> over cut of the city. It's the rainbow drone. Yeah. Yes. I, I love it. I would take a ride on. Both both players, if you're checking in the player cam, I mean, just like stone cold. You know, definitely trying to dial each other in. As far as first matches goes, talk about getting reads on each other. I mean these guys are basically dancing back and forth, you know, taking a hit, planks, you know, they're just poking at each other, really feeling each other out. And uh if you had to put your money in one hat right now as far as a victory, who would you be going really with? At least for a first round. I'm not even talking for the, for the game, just, you know, I mean, it's literally 110 to 111. The first round, I have to go with Lucy because Yoshi's abilities, I mean, right now at this point, one counter is going to do it. Yoshi's abilities, I mean, if you can react to Oh, the there it is. With, uh, Didn't even have time to finish your argument. But, uh, <laughs> I got it in. And yeah. Enjoy. I think, I think she needs to get to the prom. You think you're gonna take Lucina? I, I think so. All right. Well, I'll I'll I'll, I'll take I'll take Yoshi. I feel like he needs to pick. Me. It does, but you still gotta take Robin. You know. I got one for each arm. Exactly. You can ride him. I didn't say. I was gonna say. I didn't say Yoshi, Yoshi had to be my date. I just said I'd take him, him to the prom. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'd ride him. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, if you showed him Miles, oh, they don't allow animals. animals in school. Yeah, yeah, you just like, ride him to the front door. Like. Exactly. I'd buy him like a little more shot. <laughs> you know, so just a little flower, and then like park him outside. Yeah. You know, <laughs> right? Exactly. No, you hungry for eggs in the morning because you can just make them like that. Yeah, exactly. Would that be Spiritual cannibalism game. though? Well, Yoshi doesn't eat it. Just makes them. So you eat them. Oh, but I don't know. That's that's a deep philosophy. Too know. too deep for a, for a legacy Smash. Tournament. It definitely is. So. Uh, um, one thing I don't remember uh, if they have it in this game, but one thing I always loved, uh, loved, I should say, hated about Yoshi players is uh, they have the ability where they could eat, they could eat you and then pop you out as an egg. Um, have they fixed that in, no, uh, in the Wii No, it's still one of his abilities. It's not a really powerful one, though. I mean, it's oh, good but for, you, for, for slowing, but honestly what you're better off doing is eating them. So you can see there with the tongue, uh, you swallow it in, and then... Trying to go for yeah, the grab, yeah. You, you rack up percentages, um, you know, you can... You can Smash. Pop him out as an egg, but you, uh, yeah, oh, Yoshi's still holding yeah. in. 
Trucini has got him on lock, though. I mean, that's, the, that's the thing with Yoshi is, I mean, his, his abilities, they, they tell him too much, uh, I feel. And once, once you get the read on, like, the egg right there, I mean, that's it's just easy to counter. And it definitely looks like uh, Chip 007 knows what he needs to do. And I think he's got this in the bag. It's just a matter of time. Well, and it's what we discussed uh, exactly the, the, the type of uh, thing we discussed so right there, last match is, you know, if you have a, if, if you're kind of a one trick pony, and, and I'm not saying that Swag Major is a one trick pony, I'm just saying if, if you come into these tournaments uh, being, you know, just a clutch one trick pony, you're going to come up against somebody who, who's not only going to excel at beating you, but they're going to they're gonna read you, you know, because the mark of a good, a good tournament player is not just being good at the hero you're playing, it's being good at reading your opponent. You know, figuring them out is just as much part of winning as, you know, hitting the right button at the right time. And I think, you know, Swagrinder has a really good Yoshi. Honestly, yeah. I just, I think it's just the, the fear. I think mean, Yoshi just doesn't have the, the capability right now. He's, oh, he's huge smash! Man. That's he's a good place a to be. Job, That's a good place to be going into the into the final stock it's, here. It's not over yet. But. but he needs to capitalize. He really, he really hasn't had control of this match since the beginning. And, there it is. And, and, I just think yeah. it's a shortcoming on the Yoshi part. No, that's He's playing a great Yoshi, but I think it's time for him to get the hero. But that's just my thoughts. It's tough. It's tough. I'm, I'm hard pressed to argue uh, against that because, like we said, you know, Yoshi and, and a couple of them are, are are kind of like your basic level heroes. And and what happens with with those basic level heroes is you just don't have a lot of functionality. You don't have a lot of ability. I mean, he can't change his stomp into something else. Exactly. His stomp is his stomp. He can't change his uh, his swallow into anything. It's just that Lucina's got functionality of the wazoo and back again. She can do anything, you know. And and that's why. Why a lot of these pros will migrate towards some of these, not always, but will migrate towards some of these heroes. And what you see out of a lot of the basic heroes is, um, out of the basic characters, is, you know, they get good at being unpredictable because exactly. they have a lot of. Uh, and the one thing Yoshi was good at is he doesn't have a lot of combos, but he can rack up percentage really fast. And he just wasn't doing that. We've seen he was dodging things. Exactly. It was just a, it was just exactly. a bad matchup. Mm -hmm. Swag Swagmander could have easily probably made it to the semifinals today because uh, he has the power, the hero has the damage, but what I noticed more so was Lucina had control of those matches from, from the beginning to the end, really. And I, I think yeah, I think we're going to see more Swagmander in melee. Yeah. I think the melee Yoshi is one of the stronger heroes. Oh, for sure. I definitely agree. We'll see him. So one thing uh, I noticed, there's a basketball people walking back there that I just saw so well uh, they, they popped in earlier and while I was running crowd control I go up to them and they, they travel here from another city about 100 miles away uh, for a basketball game that's what you do in high school around sports team you're traveling to play other teams so I look right. at them and I, they, you know they came in to check out the smash and I was like would you travel if your school had a video game that you know, to travel to other schools to play and their eyes lit up they were like I would quit basketball. <laughs> I would do this right now. He's like, he like threw no, his no, basketball no, no, down. No. He's like ready to go. Yeah. Oh. Hey, um, I'm gonna run home for a few minutes, but my husband's a public school employee, and he's sitting in there, he's sitting back there in the, the sweatshirt. Gentleman in the green there. Yeah, the Perfect. green. So okay. I'll be back in like okay. ten minutes. Or so. Skeeter, do you want to say hi to the internet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was Gina. She's the uh, head director of the Legacy, or I'm sorry, not Legacy, the Century High School yeah. Gaming Club, which is what we're putting it on for today. So she's the gal that we talked to. She's the lady who kind of let us make this all happen for the students and things awesome. like that. And, and so yeah, that was yeah. It. So so hopefully, I mean, that's the dream. You know, the, the basketball players today so quit basketball. We have such a good turnout here, I and mean, that's the dream. You know, yeah. all I got to say, basketball players, is who are the ballers now? <laughs> <laughs> the answer is us. Moving into the match here, we have we have Jonah and Robin, and we actually have Jar we have Jar Bear on a, on a link, yep, in a white cloak link here. So um, yeah, so stepping there's away from the normal, uh, the normal. Everyone usually goes with that dark green. Not that it yeah. it's the same repertoire. I, I saw quite a few. I saw quite a few of the fierce deity links as well. And uh, man, I'd be hard pressed not to pick that too. I think it that's looks so cool. Well, and it's one of the, in my opinion, it's one of the coolest uh, link concepts out there. Is, uh, Fierce DD, I believe, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that being said, Jonah, I've seen him a couple of times on the Robin today. Um, definitely, yeah. The Sonic He beat the Sonic, yep. And, um, what else? I think that was all. Yep, yep, so he beat the Sonic. 
And uh, it, that one was a two and out, I believe. It was the same guy who played the Pac-Man. Yeah, he played the Pac-Man. The Pac-Man for Sonic. Yeah. Yeah. It was, uh, he definitely had an unorthodox attack and he was jumping around. Holy cow! Yeah, Robin, Huge damage. Robin is really good at it. She's a, a solid all around character. You know, spacing up she, close, uh, it doesn't matter. Her yep, and she seems very reminiscent awesome. almost of the Samus, where uh, she kind of has uh, a lot of charge abilities. Yep. A lot of weight, a lot of weight and see sort of attacks. Um, which is going to be kind of interesting because both heroes are kind of have that similar mechanic. Link, Link, not necessarily a wait and see sort of hero, but like I said before, he's he's uh, he's not opportunist. You know, he has to zone out and he has to control. And this Robin, I mean, you can see her disrupting the situation without really doing a lot of work. Yeah. And she definitely, I think, she nice counters, shielding uh, there. He read that one. Counters Link quite a bit because he relies a lot on his. Up yeah. you know, to, to get that last hit in, and with her down A, I mean, she sends oh, projectiles. Jar Bear, he's, yeah, this Jar Bear, he, he's, 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 uh, he's, he needs to settle down, he's all over the place. Jonah doing a great job of zoning, which, like we said, you know, Link needs to get in his zone. There he goes, he's kind of marking his territory in mid. Place the read there, you know, had a really good opportunity. Now he's right, yep. Oh, get back up there, son! Oh, it didn't oh, make it. Oh, there it is. Game two. one, damn near Robin perfect will, yeah. match going to the Robin. Is Jonah showing that he deserves to be here today? I think, well, I think he's going to be far, especially with a solid Robin for a little bit. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so Jar Bear was one who actually had a buy, so unfortunately that's that's a tough position to be sitting in uh, with Jar Bear. You know, second tier, first time playing, you're playing, you're automatically playing the winner yeah. of, of the first right. round. So it's not even the fact that he has a game under his belt, he has a winning game under his exactly. belt. And uh, that's why I always, I always kind of tell people, like, don't be so happy that you got a buy, oh, yeah. and, and don't be so mad that someone else got a buy, because they're not really that advantageous. I know a lot of people who have had buys where that's it. They they played one game, done. You know, so um, you made it past the first round. But yeah, you you made it past the yeah, first round. Exactly. You didn't, but you didn't put in any effort, which is what a lot of people see that and, and get really grumpy about it. So as you can see here, this city has the same tourism department. They have oh yeah, they, they hired the same city. agency. Yeah. yeah, they definitely have a giant statue, which the other one does not. But, uh, a giant glowing light. That's pretty. That's pretty sweet. I, it's the clouds. I wonder what the taxes are in this city for all the lights that they have to deal with. I don't think they have taxes. They're, they're a floating city. I don't think the IRS goes that high above the ground. I think they operate. <laughs> Wait, there's strictly. an altitude restriction yeah, on the it's IRS. Like Two thousand feet. You know, like once you get above there, like, if you live in a balloon. IRS can't knock on you. That's pretty cool. So, so uh, that floating city in uh, in Bioshock also probably taxes. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah. So the IRS not. Yeah. Not there, not happening. So there you go. That's your little Frommer's fun fact for the day. Is apparently the IRS has an altitude uh, difference. That's, that's pretty cool. It is. But, but if we're going to be talking about taxing, it definitely looks like he's negotiating more taxing on Robin than uh, the uh, Link was. Yeah. He's doing a little better, but uh, Robin's still at the advantage. Looks like about to get a, a smash taken away a stock. Let's see what happens here. Do you think off the top of your head, just reading the Yoshis, do you think this, this Jar Bear uh, would have been able to hold up against the, the uh, uh, Swagmanders uh, Yoshi if they were to go for one v one? I don't. I think Swagmander has, has a better uh, better knowledge of, of the abilities, and the Jar Bear is definitely you know, avoiding and using them. But oh, I really like Swagmander's Yoshi. Not going yet. Had, had more of a knew knew what to do and when to do it. Yeah. Whereas this Yoshi just kind of fights and stay alive, trying to rack up the points, but trying to read the Robin. The Robin definitely, definitely feeling comfortable. I, you know, you're you're starting to sense a pattern where this Jonah and his Robin really kind of want to sit on the edge, charge up his abilities like that, and just just bring the big damage. You know, he doesn't want to he doesn't want to stand up and fight with you. He doesn't even really want to give you the middle or anything. He seems to favor these these corners, and yeah, and he just blasts away at you from a distance, which is kind of an interesting tactic. Um, you know, but that being said, this Yoshi just is trying his best to, to get in the zone, but, you know, as soon as he gets up there, he's got that fire, he's got that slash, 
and uh, it's just hard. It's hard to resist that giant cannon shot too. There really is. The thing with Yoshi is you have to, you have to get close. You have to rack up his percentages. He just needs to tickle him. That's it. He just, he just needs to give him too aggressive of a high five, and, and Robin's at least down to one stock here. But I mean, this could be another game of, of two and out if this Yoshi, I feel, can at least lock it down. And that, Come on, that follow him. Right there, you could have shot an egg up there, but yeah. I think there's just missing opportunities. He's relying too much on that down B, but it's just so easy to read. I mean, that, that over that over B with the egg, there we go. That was a great neutral yeah, error. Nicely done. That nicely egg done. will rack up percentages, but it doesn't have any knockback. Now. Yoshi, we believe. And can we smell a comeback? I'm always, I'm always about the underdog, exactly. Josh. I, I would love to see some kind of, like, 120 never touched percent takes Robin all the way to death. I mean, it could happen. I mean, a mistake can happen. That's the time. kind of play, exactly. That's the kind of play that uh, I would love to see in tournaments. You know, is, is uh, that kind of not even, dog. not even like the uh, underdog. It's more the impossible play. Oh, it stood there. there it took is. It. Wasn't expecting it. Do you feel like at that point? The, the Yoshi, the jar hit, do, do, do you think at that point it was more like, psychologically just watching oh, the character, it looked like yeah. he was kind of uh, struggling there. You know, there was a lot of times where he just didn't even bother to try to do a follow-up hit. Uh, you, I guess what I'm saying is, do you think that he almost kind of checked himself out of the fight? Uh, yeah, I think so too. I think, I think once, he, once he realized, you know, he tried playing defensively, but... I mean, you know, with Yoshi, you have to play offensively. He yep. was just, he was scared of getting close. He was scared of doing stuff. Wow. And that Jonah, yeah, that Jonah doing a great job with his Rob and basically, I think, demoralizing the Yoshi into that, into that sort of thought process because, yeah, I mean, as soon as the Yoshi needing to do exactly what you said, needing to be aggressive, needing to get in there and, uh, and do his damage, uh, you know, the Robin just threw out his, her one two attacks to, to you know, get him out of his close range. Did that long range charge blast? I mean, rinse and repeat. But uh, you know, that being said, I think that Jonah really needs to uh, consider in the long run if he's going to keep playing his Robin. He needs to consider in the long run uh, switching up his attack line and his gameplay because you know, like we said, uh, a lot of these one trick ponies, even with even with their heroes, even with their deep knowledge of one two heroes, you know, they need to have a deeper bench. And if they don't have a deeper character bench, they need to have a deeper ability yeah, bench. Yeah. You know, that being said, because uh, I mean, I, I could be wrong. I might be proven wrong, and we might we might see someone just you know right click or not right click, but A B their way all the yeah. way to the finish line. You know, and and that's that'd be awesome. I was right. It was double the positives. Oh, there you go. I never doubted you for a second. I, d I doubted myself. Is that so top right one is like the Fortress of Solitude up there, like in the springtime? Yeah. <laughs> Superman just makes himself, you know, we Super a, Spring. We, we haven't seen a Little Mac yet play. Oh, like see, that, that, is, that is my new favorite guy. I'm a big Little fan Mac of the Mega Man. Awesome. The Mega Man's a really cool character as well. But, uh, yeah, I would love to see uh, the Little Mac. I would love to see a villager. Yeah, a villager, yeah. he's a weird character. A lot of people don't yeah. like him, but, you know, he's definitely utility. He has a lot of weird abilities. He's right, really right. He's super unconditional. You know, yeah. yeah. This Ike is, is taking an early advantage against this Mega Man. We saw Mega Man's fight uh, in the first round. Was nice. Super close. Yeah. But, oh, 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 there it is. Almost kind that of a combination of like an accidental deny there, but also a zoning thing that Mega Man sort of stopped the Ike from from getting on board. But then I think the Ike sort of had a little hiccup on himself. <laughs> Ike kind of. Uh, <laughs> Control Zing that situation. <laughs> Undoing it. Yep. <laughs> That's the thing. You can't. Uh, you, you make too many mistakes. I mean, if you're a good player, you have to eliminate those mistakes when you're getting exactly. kicked out very so I've, early. Yep. So I've been informed uh, the Mega Man is actually Code Bomber, not yes. Cod Bomber. Um, and then we have obviously Mega Man, uh, Code Bomber, and then Ryan uh, playing Ike as well. Oh, man. Oh, man. Exactly. self destruct Self-destruct. Yep. Uh, so, wow, game one goes to Ike just like that, huh? That's, how, that's what happens when he self-destructs. Yeah, yep, so we'll exactly. So, we'll see if he mixes up characters. Um, he's, he's taking the two Link against the Mega Man. Oh, we'll see here. It's the battle of the anime eyes. Pretty much. Yes. Which eyes are blue? Staring contest, you and me go. <laughs> you don't even blink, do you? Yeah. 
that for the Lakers. That'd be another thing too. I've seen a lot. I mean, I know in the Wii U, uh, you know, a lot of the Omega levels are going to look the same. Yeah. But uh, it'd be kind of nice to see a different, different Omega level. You know, just to kind of, I don't know, mix Boxing up the scenery a little bit. There we go. That'd be kind of cool. We'll see. See what what happens. Smashville. I would love this. Just sounds like a fun place. <laughs> But I'm sure, like any career, it'd get old. It's like, come on, guys. Oh, yeah, we're going. Like Mondays, am I right? <laughs> All right, here we go. It's... So they're both green. They're both fighting in the boxing ring. So we'll see if uh, Ryan can take a game two against Kozma. Yeah, both players uh, selecting different heroes this time around. As you can see, there's a lot of people in the, in the fake crowd cheering on. So this is definitely a, yep. a definitely hyped match. It's at least doubled our our. our uh, Exactly. Our viewership. Yeah. <laughs> like, at so least. We might have to step up the excitement here. Yep. There's a laser show! Holy! Why <laughs> would you not pick this match? There is a laser show going on. We got Mega Man going, John Claude, If there's a Man smoke Bam, machine, if the Bam, smoke Bam, machine Bam. comes out, I'm dude, just gonna have to dude, go. Yeah, like, freaking Motorhead's gonna be playing on that background stage <laughs> here pretty soon. Right on. Yeah. Like, not even, not even, not even uh, after, after the match, like, sure. for halftime. Right it's gonna on. be right yeah, during the fight. Be like, yeah. Ace of Spades, and everyone's gonna turn around in their seat. But People aren't I, even gonna know where to look. No, no idea. They're gonna have to, like, go owl on their necks and turn all the way around. <laughs> it's gonna be madness. People yeah. might. Toon Link know. doing a great job of, you know, playing, you know, you play Toon Link in my opinion a lot like you play the regular Link, but the beauty of Toon Link is uh, he, he sacrifices a little bit more damage for, for that speed. Mobility, yeah, yeah, for that speed and mobility, but at the same time, you want to play that zone, you want to be in the middle, and he's doing a great job of doing that. I mean, look at he's well within his, his range of, of being knocked out, yeah. but he's got that ability to, to get out of the fight. And, and control, you know, control his punishes. He's zoning this Mega Man out. You know, I can almost see this too. Game one. Well, game two. Oh, game two. Oh, game two. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Ooh, that was a great. Play. Oh, and of course, the caster's what? curse. I have to say something. <laughs> the downside there is Mega Man's already at 77, 85 HP. Toon Link is in the middle. I mean, this is going to be a rough, rough yeah, Ryan. Mega Man. Yeah, Ryan and his Toon Link have to be feeling pretty comfortable about where they're sitting right now. But that, that being said, you never want to get too comfy. Seen a lot of guys rest on their laurels and end up losing because of it. You know, you gotta stay hungry, you gotta stay aggressive, and when you have the advantage, you you finish it. You you finish it fast. You know, yeah, you don't want the other person to. You don't want to play timid and let the other person get three exactly. percentage points. And you have the ability to just yep. go for the smash. That's all you do is right now one smash will end this. But uh, I've seen a lot of times. Holy code breaker going ham on him right now. Back, he is just not stopping. He's going to eat this out smash. nicely done. Code Breaker doing a great job, though, at the end of that match. There was a lot of awesome smashers. He had a lot of juggling going on. There was, yeah, there was some great, great uh, play coming out from Code Breaker near the end of that there. And uh, for a fleeting moment, I dared to dream that, uh, that we could have at least seen a, a tie in damage, if not an upset there. But uh, So that would be game, I believe. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Ryan Fifth game. Two and oh, so. Ryan taking it out, so. Next, next round. Yeah, that being said, we're on to tier three of, uh, of the Wii U, so we're trucking right along. And uh, let me get a quick status update on the 64. Uh, 64 has reached its semifinal round. We're actually on, it looks like the, uh, the Wii. Oh, I think they're just playing some grudge matches here in the 64. Alright, well, uh, I'm going to go get a drink. Would you like a drink? Uh, no, I'm good. I'm, good. All right, I'm going to go get a drink, so I'll be right back. I'll let you guys enjoy Alex's sex and face cool. a little bit. Alright, right on, everybody. So, yeah, that being said, I just pulled up the next bracket. Uh, we actually have the 64 game. Uh, the semifinals are done, and like we said before, uh, all of the matches are going to play up to the final two heroes, and then we'll be doing the grand finals later today. So uh, 64 down to the final two. Uh, we actually have the Wii Up right now, and they're starting their tournament bracket as we speak. Uh, so that being said, they're already uh, one match down in uh, the Wii uh, first tier game. Uh, so right now it looks like uh, the winner of that one the winner of that round was Teton. Uh, now that being said, that's just your quick status update for the Wii, back to the Wii U, which is what we're watching right now. Um, 
We got uh, Triple M versus QB. Uh, both names already that you guys have seen a lot today, this morning. Uh, Triple M, I believe, is. Oh yeah, QB. QB is going to be the Ness. Or no, sorry, Triple M. I had it right the first time. Triple M playing the Ness and uh, QB playing the Zelda. And uh, it should be interesting. You know, we're going to have a lot of that deflect from Zelda and uh, a lot of those new abilities to her as far as the heavy smashes and things like that. But Ness, also very light character, but a lot of uh, high damage, a lot of zone. So uh, I think it's going to be kind of interesting to see, you know, how these two players are coming out. Right now, right off the bat, Triple M doing a great job bringing the damage, bringing the heat, putting it on Zelda, and uh, kind of keeping that QB uh, off on, you know, on his heels a little bit here. Uh, just, of course, as soon as I say that, QB definitely slowing down the game and bringing it back to his fur pace. Uh, using the great reflect there, blocking the PK fire from, uh, from Ness. Ness also throwing out, or I'm sorry, the, the thunder uh, of the lightning, whatever. Uh, but the fire, as I just saw, you know, a lot of great shield play here. That's going to be the key, I think, in this match, is both these heroes have a lot of uh, uh, high explosive damage, and I think there's going to be a lot of shield conservation necessary, both with, uh, you know, if Zelda manages to get a good deflect, oh, that was a great throw uh, you know, the Ness is going to have to want to fire back with, with some good shield recovery there. Um, and as you just saw, uh, Zelda losing her first stock there. Ness doing some great edging. And, of course, now we have Josh back. Hey, guys, I am back. I have a drink, and that was good, so... This 3M right here, he's my prediction. I think he's going to take this bracket. So far, he... Uh, you think, you think he's going to take this game or just the, the game thing. in general? You think Whole he's going to go all the way to the championship? He is, he is wow. going to win. That's, you heard it here first, folks. Pick. But, uh, you know... Oh, that was, oh, there it is. That was the first mistake. Wow, that was, that was a the nice... the caster's curse right that there. That was a nice switch up there, too, but, yeah. Uh, that was the first mistake I've it looked seen like he game. went. It looked like he went to, to smash the Zelda, and the Zelda teleported yeah. out of the way, kind of leaving that nest to... Uh, Contemplated mistakes there. <laughs> did, but uh, I don't think we're gonna see too many more mistakes. Uh, no, no, definitely. The Zelda is is uh, in a bad, in a bad way right now. With uh, you know already in the red zone, take you know it took her that long to get that nest down to one stock. If you you know want to consider that. Did you have to compliment her to that, that black purple weird dress? It's, it's working for you. It's, 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 uh, I don't know much about fashion, but I know it looks cute. <laughs> oh wow. That was a huge combo, kind of Ness knocking himself oh, into the zone. Oh, the hit. dodges are Holy real! Holy cow! Oh, but we had one throw. explosive burst of energy there. It was kind of a, a final showdown until, of course, Zelda has to bow out of of the first round. You know, but taking the first round here. So he has a lost round. No, but you know, QB has has uh, he was really really good in uh, the 64 bracket. I know he climbed quite a ways, and, and I haven't checked the, the final thing. For all I know, he could be in the final too. So he's not a pushover either. No, not at all. He, well, he's he said he's handled the uh, he's handled uh, really well since far. So. Yeah. Yeah. So so this this in my opinion is kind of a kind of a juggernaut fight, like a clash of the titans here. Yep. Both of these guys are, are I would say you know your A list, B list uh, melee players, at least that I've kind of seen today in, uh, in the Wii bracket. A lot of, there's a lot of Zelda players uh, so far as well. I think uh, he definitely has one of the more solid ones. Uh, Triple M being the only Nest player. And uh, Adam, uh, that's kind of his main, uh, that's our part of our Adam. Uh, he likes Ness, so maybe that's a, that's a popular pick with the new players. So that was, that was a great one. Wow. Right there. Yes. But not enough for the kill. Zelda, Zelda has back. just, she's, like her and Peach have always had like underestimated recoveries. Uh, from damage, they're almost like Kirby weather recovery, you know. But the but the benefit is they're heavy, you know. So if you'll notice, re oh, oh great shield awesome. block by the Ness there, that would have been so. Watching this right now, all he's trying to do is he's going to those smashes. He's got her at the kill point. Yeah. So all he's going to do is not going to be racking up percentages anymore. He's doing that. You'll notice with the with the lightning and stuff. He's trying to get it set yeah, up right. for the final yeah. smash. Right? He's trying to get her on tilt, but Zelda's doing a great job of. Of kind of keeping where she wants to keep. Look at that dance back and forth. The game kind of going in the favor of Zelda here a little bit now. Well, a little bit, but I'd say both heroes now are definitely looking for that smash. They're looking for they're looking for the player mistake. Here yes. it is. Here it is. Oh, oh no, great reflect. He's gonna get that. Zelda's get that still, still on. Back he's get that back Zelda's still on though. Nope. He's dodge oh, oh, oh and there throw. it is. The grab throw. throw. 
Wow, now let's see if Zelda can finish this off here with, with minimal damage smash, here. Man. We'll see yeah. how many... When you're nuts right now, all you want to do is want to rack in as much percentage points, you know. If you get the kill, great, you get the win, but you're at stock, you're at the red, so don't do anything fancy, just try to rack up the percentages. Oh wow, this is nasty doing a great job of getting uh, getting that, that damage percentage in his benefit yep. before he, he ultimately ends this first stock. Exactly, that's what you want to do, is like, you don't, you don't want to make any risks, you don't want to do anything. Just Ooh, good know you might there. get a die, rack up the percentages, and yep. go for the kill when you're on your fresh fight. And Zelda just trying really hard. Uh, she did a great job. Uh, you know, the QB did a great job of, of slowing the pace down uh, to where she wants it. But now it's actually kind of going against her. This Ness uh, is reading that. This Ness is reading that and basically saying, "Like I can wait here all day. Yep. You know, uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fall into your traps anymore." And uh, you can see it. You can see it right now. She's already in the red zone, and the Ness still hasn't even dropped his first stock yet. I think right so, here, might be the back here. Don't teleport out. Goes to the forward. Oh, Not just look at the jungle. There it is. Oh, wow. What a great, great presentation great by 3M. Yeah, by 3M. QB, you can obviously in the player cam. Super. And who would be, who would, who would be, a, who would be happy about a game like that? Never want to lose. I would walk away with at least a consolation saying that, that, like you said, probably one of the day's greats took me out. You know, but that's, that is sadly the darker side of, of uh, the tournament bracket is you, you, you know, that's why I think they invented losers brackets to be completely honest. I think yeah, people said, you, yeah, you were awesome and we kind of didn't want it to end, you know. We want to break up, but we're still going to be friends, right? It's like that kind of a system. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so looking at the hero list here, we haven't seen Olimar yet, we haven't seen a villager yet. One person I'm really surprised we haven't seen is Rosalina. Right now, she's one of the top two. Oh, there was there was a Rosalina star earlier this game. game. Or no, sorry, that was oh, a that peach. Was, yeah, I was gonna say a peach. That was a peach, but I think she was wearing like a Rosalina yep. get up. I don't think we've seen a Pikachu, but no. she's really not that strong in this, you know, with Charizard. Um, I haven't seen a Camp Falcon, I haven't seen a Duck Hunt. Uh, Duck Hunt's one of those, another one of those weird characters that's really good at summoning. Yeah. Uh, we have Enum versus DK right now. Enum's another solid play. Mm -hmm. um, if I yeah. had to call it right now, the finals is going to be, it can't be actually how the bracket set up. But if Enum goes on, I am really excited for this next match because um, if, I, if I'm reading the brackets, I don't have it in front of me, but I think Enum would face Triple M if he wins. And I think that's going to be. Yes, he would. Yeah, and uh, yep. I think I think that's going to be the match that you guys want to see for sure. That's the one I'm most excited about. But I'm not saying Adam's going to win. He's going to make a pass to DK, who is also a very solid player. I was just about to say right DK now. definitely, I mean, definitely a solid out. player. Like uh, and it looks like uh, Adam's uh, playing his classic for Ninja here. Yep. Again, another tune link out. So DK, I'm thinking maybe going for that uh, that speed versus speed uh, got idea, you know. And it seems to be kind of working out. They're they're definitely trading blows, trading damage. It's, it's a evenly matched first round here. I don't have heroes not really giving each other a lot of leeway. And if you're discussing the concept of healing each other out, this is probably the most fast-paced, aggressive. <laughs> to me, they're you fighting know, in the ground. They're buy me a drink air. first. They're kind fighting of first everywhere. Round. Yeah, you know, it's like it's like. Dr. Seuss Green Eggs and Ham. Oh, not fight yeah. you on the ground, not fight you in the air. <laughs> oh, we're going back to the ground, all right. All right, that's great. cool, too. Yeah. Yep. Oh, there you it like is. taking the stock. Yeah, you, right uh, you do not want uh, Falcons and Lynx underneath. No, not at all. And, and right there, you saw the reason why. I mean, obviously, they had high damage percentages, but still, that being said, Just missing that, 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 two links up, right that two links up strike is uh, it's brutal. Now the one thing that the Greninja hasn't pulled out yet is he hasn't pulled out the substitution. It's counter like ability, but instead of straight up countering it, you disappear and then reappear and like counter the damage. It can be deadly there sometimes where you just go off the stage, which might not be why he's using it. Sure, sure. Um, and there's that down strike that you talked about yep. before where it's, it's detrimental. How do you feel? Do you think that this level um, is bad for the Greninja because yes. of a lot of those things? Yes. Multi level. He needs more open, yep. he needs more open yep. areas. Whereas I, I definitely think that this level favors the Link. Links do like to be, especially like when I play Great Links. Great smash there. When I play Links, uh, I definitely like multi level areas. You get a, you get a lot of ability to get underneath your hero, like you can see there. Um, his spins, his aerial spins, and his platform spins help out a lot more. You have a lot of play with your boomerang and your bomb throws. All around, it's it's kind of a it's the Link playground in my opinion. I, I will agree with that. I think this is 
definitely have a favorite towards the late player, but yeah. Lee Nam's giving it his all. He's not going out. He's at 99, but oh, yeah. I would not count him out whatsoever. Look at that hook grab. It's another thing that Link can do, which is really awesome, is you can see grab the ledge with your... Yeah. Great your boomerang. If you see that, he threw it before he landed, and the boomerang will reposition his trajectory based off of where oh. Link is oh. versus where he out. was. He's taking game one. Wow. Uh, solid, mm -hmm. solid uh, play here. But uh, we'll see. I wouldn't count. I think Adam's going to take. I think he's going to take game two. I wouldn't count him out here. So going off of that, we're definitely, you know, we're looking at the player cam. We can tell, uh, you know, DK feeling good about that. You know, definitely probably going to reconsider. Uh, you know, switching it up. Uh, oh, no. really, you know, yeah, DK, yeah, I was going to say, I think he's going to reconsider his hero. My question to you, too, Josh, is do you think uh, Adam seeing. Uh, that link in that level, do you think uh, now that he has the losers pick off level, do you think he's going to pick something that's going to be more favorite towards him, or do you think he's going to pick something that's going to be detrimental? Well, I looks like he's picking the uh, This is a uh, pretty neutral for there you go. everyone. There's, there's so not an advantage kind of, yeah, either way. Kind of so. opting to just level the playing field. Yeah. So, level advantage for everyone. Right? So, mm -hmm. he is definitely a smart pick. He's interesting. interesting. Yeah, but. I haven't really seen, I don't think Adam has pulled out a Martha, so we'll, we'll see. He's, he's kind of stuck with that Greninja. Uh, Martha is actually one of the heroes that I play against. It's one of my, one of my favorites. Seeing uh, Luigi is, is really good. Definitely. Yeah, it should be interesting. Like you said, uh, you know, Adam was, uh, he was playing a couple before he switched to his Greninja, but then you kind of saw that, that, uh, that sort of became his bread and butter for a while. Um, but I do, I do definitely support the fact that he has switched it up because, like we said, I think he noticed that people were starting to catch on in his playstyle and his character playstyle. And win or lose, I think that this was the right approach uh, for Eno's game. I don't know. It's, I would have, I would have stuck with the Greninja, but uh, I mean, it's definitely hard. This is a bad choice, but you know, both of these guys have about the same range: the Luigi and the Mario. It's gonna be whoever you know, gets the move that combos up the fastest. Nice fast counter there. there. Yeah. Luigi's just racking up the damage really quick. And, the thing with Luigi, and the oh, same with yeah. Arch Marcus, they have that ability to just smash and end it. So, this is going to be a quick draw. I never, uh, I never consider Luigi in that regard, and I really, really should, because he, he can he's he pretty dangerous. put up the percentages. He's, he's like that awkward quiet kid, you know, you don't want to get into a fight with <laughs> uh -oh. him because you don't... You don't know what he's capable of. Exactly. Oh, nice right smash! Excellent! Fully charged, but Long definitely in that. a bad way here. Oh, oh, this could be game just like that. Nope, it is not over yet. Using his dancing swords to get oh. back. Luigi was kind of going for that broke move there. Yeah, there it is. Aiden is it done. Cold. Yep. Um, and you, go, you had to go ahead and just cast a curse him, didn't you? I did. I'm sorry, Aiden. But DK is definitely a solid player, deserving to move on and easy with the blank. Hey DK! Krems, can we get uh, DK for an interview? Hello? DK. Yeah. Number one. No. No. Alright, we have DK coming in for the interview. Uh, Alex wants to give him a couple uh, words. So yeah, I'll definitely. Let, Sweet. We'll let DK get over think. here. Come on over, bud! Right on, so I'm gonna switch chairs here. We got. Yeah, go ahead. Have a seat. We got DK here, and uh, yeah, we just wanted to kind of talk a little bit about the last match there. So you're playing against Eno, a lot of people were, were sort of big fans of him, and, and me and Josh were talking about him a lot. Uh, how did you feel going against him? Both of you guys kind of climbed the bracket for a while already. Uh, I practiced a lot for this one. Yep. Do you, uh, do you prefer 3DS over a couple of the other systems? No, I like them. Well, except the N64, that was pretty <laughs> And uh, who was your go-to? You know, I saw that you were, you were playing uh, quite a few characters today. Do you have just kind of a gambit guy, like a handful of you? Yeah, I usually play the faster characters, because you just can't do this. Very good. Alright. Yeah, I noticed you, you did a lot of tune link and stuff like that, and you did a really good job with this one. Uh, I just kind of want to compliment you on that. Uh, how do you feel about you kind of progressing through the brackets? Are you feeling good? Yeah. How about uh, your energy levels, you guys? All starting to, we're seeing a lot more player mistakes now. Uh, the brackets yeah. kind of moving on. Are you feeling fatigued as the day kind of goes on? Yeah. You think, uh, you think you got what it takes to get all the way to the end? Oh, that feeling. All right, cool. Well, DK, appreciate it. Thanks for the interview, and we'll probably see you in the next part. Alright, take care.
All right, so while I was uh, grabbing my interview, it looks like the next match started here. Can we get... Uh, oh, I don't think they changed their name, so it's the same guys, but it's different. It's a different bracket now. So uh, right, we're going to be switching chairs. Are we switching chairs? We're right. switching chairs. Change of scenery. I'm on the left side. Alex is my right-hand man. And... Uh, yeah, we got this up here. So, yeah, let's, let's pull the Wii U bracket up. So right now we have Menthol and Chipped 007, which these guys have been pretty solid. Uh, Chipped would get the win under his belt. Double uh, Chipped 007, a uh, long journey, but playing solid Luciana. We'll see here. It's like a pretty even match so far. It like seems almost an exact mirror match that we've seen before. I swear we saw a thing versus Lucina. And uh, I do recall the Lucina being the victor of that matchup. Now I'm kind of curious to see if it's, if, uh, if a player ability can, can overcome that character gap. Um, we're already seeing that link, that link play style that you want to see out of your links. Oh, there's just too much. Oh, he saved her there, but that time doesn't make the there same mistake, and uh, we're taking game one. So I like to point out, I was looking through the chat. We got 10 out of 10 on the commentators, best commentators ever. Oh, perfect. So uh, glad you guys enjoy us. You know, yeah, we do what we can. I'm also glad that we got our second ASCII Hitler for the day. Yeah, like that's big, that's been tally as the MC there. So. Yeah, that's that's been good. So, <laughs> chat, we are reading you. We appreciate the kind comments. Uh, we, we might not be as knowledgeable as Smash as those other two, but right. we like to bring our own flavor to things. So. We make up for it in tenacity. Exactly. <laughs> so. But we lack in intelligence. <laughs> we make up for exactly. it in tenacity. <laughs> so, going on, uh, we have the Final Destination. Yep. You know you know what we have to see before the end of the day is we have to see Final Destination, Fox only, no items. I mean, Fox it's gotta only happen. No items. It's gotta happen. I just want to. I want to have. I want to have like the soulless face off. And what I mean by that is, is by the end of the day, I want the doc from Duck Hunt, and the villager <laughs> from. Oh man! From, uh, it would be amazing. Yeah, the, uh, villager. the villager from village, yeah. uh, from village people. Not Why? Village people. Animal, Animal Crossing. Uh, it's same thing. <laughs> <laughs> and then if we could somehow throw in like Luigi, but Luigi from Mario, Kart, you know, and just just three, the Luigi three death people, stare, yeah, yeah, just three people who literally have been confirmed to have no souls whatsoever, just you know, battling at Final Destination for what could only be our souls, I'm assuming. Exactly. Like, so a little more fighting, yeah. fighting for the balance of mankind, you know. That's what I want to see. I, you know, that's the world I want to live in. I would right there. So now we're we're traveling through a meteor field. Going between the Earth and the Sun, and the Earth is dangerously close to the Sun, which yeah. is probably why they're floating in space because we're Again, on Earth though, right now. Same agency. Same agency. Same agency. Oh, this is probably like once the world started obviously getting swallowed by the Sun, they're like we have to build these drones. Seats. Yeah, five, five front row seats to the end of the world. And uh, these, It'd be these, fantastic. these drones are. I need one. I don't know where to get them, but I need one. Right. That being said, dude, it's um, it's smashing in the background. I mean, this this match is really awesome. Don't get me wrong, but the background is amazing. <laughs> I think and we now, almost need to take a moment. Now died. we died. We have died. We this died. Is right now, now this is heaven. This is heaven. AKA we're making, we're making serious philosophical oh, no. bounds here. Link didn't up. Oh, I was uh, Link did not up it. Um, that was won. Menthol, by the way. Men menthol. Uh, be disappointed. Yeah, Menthol had that game pretty much in his pocket and uh, chipped 007. Kind of kept his cool. And like I said, I, I definitely think that as the game uh, and the day progresses, it's going to be uh, very, very vital that characters lock it down. You know, they, gotta, they gotta, make mistakes. Yeah, you got to keep it you have that tight. Fatigue. You know, you're going you're gonna to get fatigued. You're, you're not going to wave dash when you don't wave dash. You're not going to smash when you want to smash. And, and you can't let that uh, bother you, you can't let that get to you, and, and not only that, but mistakes, you know, are, are going to cost you the game. And that could be the, the difference between you walking home with uh, with some sweet swag in your pocket and just walking away with nothing. And another thing, that's one of the things that we preach about here at Gamer Gauntlet is with our tournaments, I mean, you not only have to be a good gamer, you have to have the stamina. You have to be able to, to go the mile because, I mean, you, you can be the best Smash player you know, ever, but... If, if you you know if you lose steam or if you get fatigued easily, yeah. you're gonna start making those mistakes, and you know the the strongest will survive. Exactly. So uh, gamer gauntlet, we put on uh, what's called the gamer gauntlet, which is a, a gaming season. It's twelve week long season. Ooh, with, like with the um, smash. And, and, and what happens is we preach about that a lot because at the end of the season we have basically a, an endurance event party. It's it's two days of 
more or less eight hours, would you say? Oh, yeah, it's, it's more a or less time. eight hours for the whole day eight where ten. Uh, it's, it's a lot like this bracket. You're constantly either waiting to play, playing, or queued up for another game. And, and it's designed, we designed it to basically erode you mentally and physically. And by the end of the day, you see guys like taking power naps at their tables and, and uh, doing whatever, doing I whatever, and, and, and whatever they can do. To basically relax, to reset themselves, and things like that. Because people don't understand that even though this is a video game, you have so much adrenaline, so much mental uh, exhaustion. Mental yeah. exhaustion. You know, so much focus, so much calculation that goes into these what appear to be simple fights. Uh, they they grind on a person more so than anything else that you would experience. So, so I must. I mean, the background right now is is the eighties. 80s uh, music video slash heaven, uh, and Lucinia is fighting to stay alive. Uh, it might be. What's going through my head is the win of Menthol. Wow! Making nice. it, making it. He's Menthol is just. I think every he's taken every one of his matches to game three. So I don't know. Maybe he just. He, uh, he strives on on living on the edge, you know. He's like right at the danger zone, well, and he's Menthol, like, he's like. Menthol, I do believe, was the same guy that that walked into one of his matches earlier and immediately suicided. He did, yeah, he did. Yeah. So, so I think just, I think what it is, he's like, he's, he's like we play it, and he's like Lana. He doesn't respond. He's like Lana, <laughs> Lana doesn't respond, and then he kills himself, and then Lana's like, what? And he's like, danger zone, and he just goes crazy, and that's how he wins. Once he's in that danger zone. Done. Into the rush, man. That's, that's what it is. Yeah. He's an adrenaline junkie. We, so we, we can tell already. Oh, right. and I love who this guy is. I, I, I forget what his name is, but player one. Jonah yeah. or Ryan H. Which one? Gamepad or Gamepad. Okay, Gamepad is uh, Ryan H. Jonah is yeah, non Gamepad. H. I don't know if you can quite see it. I was watching him play before. He plays cross legged, like a straight up surf. He does. Yeah, he, he plays does. straight up surf. He plays cross legged. You can tell he's just like cool as a cucumber, man. And, uh, and it's just, I love watching it play. It's, it's like the most casual hardcore. It's almost <laughs> like a like a, a presence disc. Oh, it is. It's yeah, like, it's I'm, like so un, I'm so like unshaken by the presence of you in this gaming situation that I'm two seconds away from sipping a cognac and reading a good <laughs> chapter of The Great Gatsby. Yeah, yeah. so are you, are you bothering my smash time? I do yeah. say good, sir. A smash, you know? <laughs> Are we gonna see a new? We have not seen Wii Fit Studio yet. This is a brand new background for us to commentate on, and oh, it's very minimalistic. That's so, who has the advantage, the exercise bike or the treadmill? Yeah. <laughs> so not even the link or the no, or the Robin. exercise bike versus treadmill. I'm going treadmill because I've seen enough YouTube videos of people oh. absolutely wiping themselves out on a on a treadmill. And I, yeah. I can't really see. Uh, say I've seen. Many oh, we have, have the uh, the downward facing spikes. dog in the background. Whatever that position is, I'm not the best at yoga, um, but uh, in any case, uh, we have Jonas Robin, who we commented about before, yeah, exactly. um, and uh, oh, we're good. We are good. I think. All right. So we've seen a lot of two links here. Do um, so you think you know Robin's has fought against some different characters, but? Does she have what it takes to go against the two link? Uh, Ryan's two link is playing this situation exactly the way he should be playing it, though. Um, you know, Rob, we're seeing we're seeing the same gameplay from Jonah that that we're seeing before. He's doing that. He's doing that. Sitting on the edge, uh, charging it up. He's trying to zone. The irony of the situation is, is Ryan has the ability to disrupt. You can see right there. As soon as Jonah tries to get that charge into place. You're seeing the boomerang come out, you're seeing the long range arrow coming out, you're seeing the disrupts. And the smash. Yeah, you're seeing the disrupts that are stopping the Robin from playing the way they want to play. And now you can see Jonah's trying to switch his game up here. And he's trying to make it more of a toe-to-toe -to -toe battle, which is exactly what Ryan wants to see happen. So Especially yeah, as this tune link, you know, he's, he's yep. not letting he's not letting Robin do what she does best as a as her character. Exactly. Um, so she's just racking up the percentage points, but so that being said, um, I it's mean, the smash off. Though. We're yep, we're seeing we're seeing a tie, but not until that link racked up a good 30, almost 40 percent damage on him. So I mean, the advantage still at face value has to go to his two I think so too, and uh, I I would agree. I mean, his Robin is solid, but I think that two link has just got the reads. Jonah's not able to play the game that he wants to play. He's definitely gonna have to mix in some things up in uh, in round two. Ryan doing a great job of, of reading Jonah's game here. 
I mean, uh, you, you, he seems to be detecting the patterns, and there it is, game over. Yep. Ryan going, going and getting that game over right there. Man. So, do you think, uh, do you think Jonah pulls out a different character? I'd love to see it. I think, I, I think that he should. Um, we've seen, we've seen Robin, and don't get me wrong, is Robin oh! is bleak, you know. Uh, but that being hype said, over on the Wii. I don't know what's going yeah, on over there, but I'd like Robin to see. Robin is tight, but uh, ooh, interesting. Uh, Ryan looks like he's gonna go with it again. I'm kind of interested. Why is Ryan? You know, he's got something up the sleeve. You know, it could be, it could be just the kind of thing where maybe he doesn't have that that option we talked about. Maybe he doesn't have that depth of bench. And maybe Robin is that character. Robin's what he practiced. Robin's what he was coming in today with. That was his. That was his ace. Period. He was. He's playing Texas Hold'em with one card today. Gosh, that's it. <laughs> well, well, like and it's, here. The, and it's the wild card for Uno. That's, that's what he's going for. You know. He's, he's like, up, draw four, and yeah. uh, pass. It's just yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> the skip. So, yeah, the skip so card. Ike. You know, Ryan mixed me up with the Ike, but you know, he's he's still doing a decent job, but. Not off to as strong as a start as he and, was with Young and Link and... I don't know if I like this Ike pick against the Robins. I, yeah, I don't want The problem with Ike is you can tell already he has to get up close and we know Jonah is exactly... Jonah's perfect when people are up in his face. He wants you to get up in his grill because he's going to zone you out and he's going to retaliate with that long distance charge. Ooh, that was a great smash, so, wasn't it? I mean... Maybe, maybe we're wrong. Okay, what do we do? We're just, we're just now. We're, we're not. We're not. I don't even know. What I'm about. Let's talk about those windmills. I mean, I'm gonna go play solitaire. Uh, is this a little big pirate? No, dude. This is a. Uh, this is that's. This is a uh, Wooly Island for Yoshi, and uh, when he becomes the yarn, so Yoshi becomes yarn, and everything is made out of yarn. And, it's like Kirby Epic Yarn. Uh, so, well, they're like banking off of that, except it's Yoshi Epic Yarn. Oh, oh wow! That was awesome. Robin with the comeback, but see, I, it's not dead yet. No, this isn't. Let's see if Jonah can land that, which can, but now she's got to charge up again. With the, with the fire, I think she's going to get it. She's, she's got to get a kill here fast if she wants to win. Yeah, she's got she's to gotta lock this Ike down and at least get rid of that first stock. But, like I said, that Ike doing a really good job now of, of at least closing the gap when he needs to. Um, but, you know, that being said, that Jonah doing a great job of uh, keeping that distance. So yep. it's kind of a wash, man. It's going to come down to which character can keep their nerve, which character can, oh. can activate getting when they dash. need it, exactly when they need it. Getting that, getting that, is she going to get the kill? That's no, it. Ike, is hard, be, no, Ike is hard to kill. has got to be the stock. No, definitely no, not. Ike is not ready to go. Oh, that was good. Um, I mean, yeah. it's kind of, yeah, it's going to have to come by, you know, one, something's got to give. Yeah, oh, definitely. But, like, uh, I have to send out some serious props to, uh, to the Ike player here, to Ryan, just for the fact that 163 and still trucking, man. He looks good for 163. Oh, you know what I'm saying? You know, doesn't, doesn't look a day past 140. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, yeah, I mean, holy cow. We could still see, we could see some kind of god mode here from, oh, from this Ryan. Oh, go there it is, out. though. There it holy is. Holy cow. Take what a help play. Robin. What a Jeez. play. Bravo. Robin definitely, you know, or I should say Jonah definitely doing his best trying to win with that Robin, you know, sticking to his guns. And uh, I know I was personally hesitant with, with Ryan picking his Ike, but I guess what do I know? He ended up having the, the uh, you know, the defense ability. He had the health to, to deal with, with Robin's uh, yeah, sheer she, she didn't, she didn't. Yeah, she didn't let Robin get those, those finishing moves on Ike, which... It's ultimately led to the win, so yeah, exactly. let's, let's check the bracket here. Without looking, I think it is 3M versus DK. All right, so this is the big fight here. We just got yep. done interviewing DK. Definitely a quiet, modest guy. There's oh, this is the that. semifinals, guys. Yeah, but this is Last this is the matches. moment where modesty needs to go to the wayside because we're talking we're talking the creme de la creme here. You know, these are dude. The cream rises yeah. to the top. To the top. Yep. As uh, as the late Macho Man would have would have said, you know. Yeah. So that being said, modesty to the wayside because we're talking we're talking the best of the best here. This has been all morning of making here. We've we basically been vetting thirty people to find these four gentlemen. Yes. Uh, yes. Yep. These four gentlemen here, and this is the first of the final two. So uh, this is exciting. Definitely Ooh, and sure. the first Sheik that we've seen from DK. And DK has go. played a lot of different characters. He definitely has the depth down, but we know we know Moon's good. So you know who I'm going for. Yeah. Who's your pick? 
Uh, you know what? I'm gonna have to go DK, and I'm also, I'm also slightly curious if this pocket, if this sheet isn't a pocket player of his. I, you know, in the interview, he said that he was specifically, uh, specifically practicing for the Wii U version of this game, and I'm almost curious if, uh, if this sheet isn't, isn't kind of his ace in the hole. Well, we will find out here, so... Triple M obviously sticking to his guns, playing his nest, but I mean, let's be real, his nest is off the freaking chain. Yeah, so why, 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 why switch I, it up? I can't, no even, reason to I can't even make my usual argument of being a one trick pony, because... Nest is this pony utility. can freaking do backflips underwater here, so This is, this is a diamond pony right yeah, here. Yeah, this is... This is your, uh, this is like your Stallion. blue ribbon. Oh, this is your blue ribbon Triple, winner triple, triple crown, crown winner. Oh, winner. Well, definitely. But, uh, but all right, Sheik, like, yeah, huge advantage. plays. Huge and, zoning uh, plays for the Sheik here. This the beauty of the Sheik is she's got speed, and her damage is different in the fact that she, uh, she doesn't do huge single hit damage. It's, it's, it's explosive speed. Yep, yep. It's all multiple, and that's Ooh, big for just shield. The reactions from DK are amazing. You can amazing. see it right here. You can see the way this Sheik is, is just absolutely... Just all over the place. Oh, all yeah. over the place. Ness, Ness tagging is you four, five, yeah. six times and then getting the heck out of dodge. This is this is such a great matchup right oh, here. Great. Great job with the Ness there. Now is that the PK Lightning match? That, uh, uh, yeah, the PK, PK Lightning is the ball lightning. PK Pulse is the green. And PK Fire is the fire. So. And then Lucas has the PK Thunder. Yes. Oh. That's where I was going. Oh my god! Oh! oh! What an upset! That Holy was insane! Cow. I just lost my voice. <laughs> <laughs> The Sheik Excuse was me. going for the kill, but it oh actually backfired on him. Holy cow. Wow. So now, the Sheik is actually behind the eight ball, which is not the ideal situation to be. We need to... Uh, hopefully insane. we can see this DK. <laughs> hopefully we can see this DK. Nicely done. We see him finishing off this nest. This nest will this not nest, go yeah, quietly. He will not die. I refuse, He's he got says. this on lock. I am the child genius. Oh, and there it is. My life. Takes the stock. We're going back oh, zero wow. to 20%. What a match! Both players are literally locked in right now. They're, they're basically human controllers at this point when you're looking at the camera. The only thing that's moving is more or less the thumbs. <laughs> so, they're just, they've yeah. become one. They have yeah, used they've insert into the they've slot. Wholeheartedly. Oh man. They've never been more digital than right now. So, Agreed. Uh, that being said, they should be. I mean, we're talking this is insane. Point for point right now, ladies. No Generally, one has the advantage. They're both racking up. It's going to come down to that one final smash. Oh, great shield block from the Sheik there. She was just, she read that perfectly. 62 to 71. We're dancing around. It's like an episode of DBZ. I can barely keep yeah, track of them. There's going to be rocks flowing. One of them's going to go Super Saiyan. Oh, I hope so. Oh, man. This is, this PK is it. Saiyan. <laughs> Ness just hits him with a spirit bomb. Uh. Yeah, There's the said, back here. That's the back here. This could be it. No, he's got the recovery. She had a lot of math that she could clear. Well, yeah. The, usually the Holy back here is more. It, Get that recovery. Oh, and the recovery is there. And the, oh. oh, but Ness keeping her at bay. Watch the lightning. Oh, oh this will she have enough recovery? She's got. Oh, she's, she's got, got the recovery. She's got oh, it. She won. Oh my God! At the edge of her seat. <laughs> Both heroes definitely in the red zone. We're talking like. Oh. like with the win, oh, what a God. match that the was insane. Great, great oh, sportsmanship man. by both of them. Holy cow, man. That was, that was insane. Only the first match. That was, that was oh, only the first match. Dude, I don't... I guess. That wasn't even... We have like... Yeah, do this uh, again? I don't, I don't know if I can handle this, man. I gotta like, loosen the tie, like... Someone just called the doctor. <gasps> Where's the heart rate, man? Stand by. Oh, Jesus. That was insane. I got so locked in that I thought that was the championship. What, what just happened? We have more games to play after this. What just happened? Oh. Like, oh, I need to sit down while I'm sitting down. DK uh, mixing it up again, going with Donkey Kong Jr. Uh, what? Yeah, holy cow. Well, you know, that actually makes sense because his name is DK, so... It does make a little sense. This is his pocket plan. This is... <laughs> <laughs> I just keep, I'm just going to keep saying it. This, this yeah. one... This one's his pocket hero. <laughs> wow. All right. So. I was wrong before. But wow, what a great, what a great sheep play. That was insane. Uh, that would have been, do you think that would have been a different match if that DK, he went for that early uh, confirmed kill and it actually ended up uh, basically going against him because the Ness countered and killed him. Do you think the match would have been different if he could have locked that first stock down? I, I don't, I don't think it would. I mean, it was kind of one of those things where like you didn't really have an option, you know, you had to go for it. So, you know, if you play that scenario ten times in a row, nine times out of ten, you're going to do the same thing. But this Donkey Kong, I mean, I think he definitely has the advantage. Oh, cow, yeah. He is racking up the percentages. This Diddy Kong is, is you know, not letting this, this triple no. M 
and he's the catch his breath, not one bit. Triple M though doing a great job of saying, all right, if you're not going to give me the time of day, I'm going to make I'm going to make my own appointment. Then. Yeah, and, and with the counter pick, you know, having the the platforms on the level definitely benefits the Diddy Kong, uh, as we're seeing. But I mean, this Triple M, he's such a good player that oh, great you know, he's not he's not going out without a fight. This is not an easy match. For oh, player. neither of these heroes no. are going to lay down. Definitely, neither of these players, I should say, are are, are going to lay down on this match. Um, I think that, I mean, this is the moment. This is the moment you start bringing out, like, your top tier, you know, game yeah, this one is, class yeah, exactly. players here. And you're seeing it. You're seeing it with DK's Diddy Kong. We saw it with the Sheik. And I, it's 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 not only that, but it almost looks like 3M is rising to the occasion. Oh, yeah. Makes he sense. Is. He's like, it's go time. Yeah. DK is, is definitely bringing the heat, but 3M saying, all right, well, I'll dance with you. I'll be your Huckleberry. <laughs> So, oh, like there it said, is with the forward DK getting the first stock from Triple M. First stock, oh, man. But he has a long, long battle. Yeah, this is, this he's is not trying to react right. up. And, and he's, he's doing it. He's, he's racking up as much as he's got the tail whip, but, but Ness is he's not going out. I mean, he's good at. See, that, that's the thing yeah. with the platforms, is he's yep. taking away that, that PK Thunder Chase ability yes. as soon as the platform is that. dead. Yep. And that was a huge part of Triple M's strategy. So, perfect counter pick by DK. And it's definitely working. He's already got him at 53 damage. Uh, Oh wow. wow! Getting a little fighting out there. there. Little... Oh, but it yeah. cost him, and we're down to one sock yeah. of beast. Definitely started getting little... squirrely there near the edge. He was edging a little bit there, yeah. and he was getting crazy. One thing I also want to compliment DK on is he's doing great zoning control with his bananas and his and his peanut gun. You know, if you're if you're noticing, he's he's just kind of throwing them at bay. He's, he's sticking them on uh, the extra levels. He's kind of just lobbing that random. Um, from time to time, and that's doing a lot to kind of keep that 3M from, it, it, it's zoning out the 3M angles on, on you know, Yeah, you can dodge this, but you can't dodge the, the yep. follow-up. He's yep. following up with everything right now. Exactly. So this is, again, close, you know, obviously DK has the advantage here, but Ness is, is fighting oh, back, and he's yeah. trying to take it Someone right there. Someone because we got the game yeah. of the century right now. <laughs> That, oh! Can he make it? Can he make it? Oh! That is it! That is it! That is it. it. Takes game oh two! Gosh. DK oh, with the win. <laughs> this is going one to game one. three. But it's Triple M's first loss. Wow. Going to game three. This is amazing. Get so, hype. Apparently gods do bleed, I guess. They do. They do bleed. Apparently they bleed. But, I mean, alright. Let's hear oh, from the crowd man. how awesome this match. Yeah. Game three! Get hype! There we go. DK busting out another character. But he's how? played the Toon Link before. That's true. He has. He has, he has played the Toon Link before. How many, how many characters he, does he have? I don't know. I know in his interview that when we talked to him, he said he does favor uh, the speed character. So it's, it's, you know, you can see that that's what he went with. He went with the Sheik, you know, fast as lightning. You know, D Diddy Kong, Grease Lightning, and obviously Toon Link. Now, interesting pick here from, from 3M. I mean, he knows... That he doesn't, I mean, that, that this is a, this, this kind of mad, this stage favors Zelda, or, uh, oh my god, I almost made the biggest gaming mistake <laughs> that anyone can but, make. But what if Zelda was a oh girl? Oh man, Josh? but what if, what if <laughs> only. But anyway, I mean, this definitely favors uh, Toon Link over Ness, the Yeah, it should be interesting. The stadium, but. Yeah, and we're going to, we're going to see, I mean, maybe there was something that, uh, that Triple M did like about this stage that we, we didn't quite see, and. And uh, maybe he's uh, he's okay with that PK Thunder kind of being taken away. Um, but I do agree. I mean, if we're talking ideal circumstances for a DK victory right now, we have him on Toon Link. We have him on a multi-platform level, so he's going to be able to get under Ness a lot. And uh, and yeah, I, I would have to agree with you. It's hard. I'm hard pressed to, to argue. You know, the the other side of it is maybe you know 3M just got like you know those angry eyes, like oh you know like you know I'm confident up in my abilities. Like if this is where you want to beat me. Prove it. Oh, and, uh, sure, that might sure. be the that might be kind the, of kind the of thoughts. why would I want to beat you at your worst when I can beat you at your best? Exactly. Kind of so but we'll see here. Oh, yeah. zoning them out. And that being, a... and, and and to that point, if we're looking at the percentages, 3M is in favor on the first stock yep, here. He is. Uh, for a while, it was pretty close. They're both comparing uh, damage, you know, back and forth oh, quite a bit. Oh, what is that? We're getting stock, the first stock. Yes. Triple M's got to be feeling good about that. You know, now like everything. He's Probably got it. You know, he's gonna try to. He's gonna try to rack up as much damage as he can. But but DK oh. doing a great job with this link. Oh, it almost Holy ends it with cow, that down that right there. Done. Link has got to get. He's got to get the stock right. He's got to do it. Three M sooner. is almost acting like he wants to try to finish this. He does. He on wants his this first done. stock. He, he wants this done. He doesn't want this to go on. He's just had it with these games. 
took DK's two link, taking a moment to look at the, the fourth wall there, <laughs> make sure he's like, really, guys? You're going to say that about me? Well, I'm gonna say, yeah. Oh! I got feelings, too. It's not done yet. It's he's not, not done yet. He's not he's done. Not done. Uh, Watch out. Oh! Oh! Wow, what a done. follow -up. We're going to one stock apiece. Wow. You better get rid of that bomb, dude. Hot potato. All right. We are down to the last stock in this epic right, battle. So definitely in favor of the Ness right now, but we've obviously seen DK. Uh, we know that DK can, can oh, play. Yeah, easy, easy. Uh, so so that 40%, that 30-ish percent, percent, I mean, that can change in a heartbeat. These guys are directions. not being defensive. They're going at each other's throat. Oh, you know, sure. They want they, blood. They want the win. This they is not blood. chasing with the lightning. Good dodges with yeah. that. Got the boomerang out. Each player using every oh, ability. Great DK and, fire. See, Ness is definitely, I can tell oh! by the Triple M. Oh, oh he goes into it, and that is, oh, oh my gosh. Jeez. The backup, or I should say the PK fire, followed up with a fully charged home run bat. That you was, do smile, you child genius. Yeah, yeah that, was, that was solid play by DK. I hate to have him go. Wow. DK, why don't you come over here? Oh, oh you, you got him. Oh, all right. Yeah, alright, so we have DK here, and we were talking a lot about him. How many heroes can you play? Um, first off, well, I play all of them, but fair enough. The slow ones are just too much. You like, like the fast heroes. Yeah. So, were you, what was like, what, how did you, did you pick a character to counter this, or just pick heroes you're comfortable with? I mostly picked heroes I'm comfortable with, and I knew that he'd probably use side piece. Fair, fair so enough. That's why I chose sheep first, because of her bounty. So was the uh, was the level selection in play at all? Was he getting that advantage um, on the platforms, or are you just I just like certain levels. Fair enough. I was really surprised with this pick. So you're a really solid player. We're going for you, but unfortunately, yeah. got knocked out. But are you how confident you're in the brackets? You're right. They're right. Like when you're when it's more it's more intense than you like make more mistakes. Exactly. But there's three more brackets. How are you? Are you in the season four bracket at all? Oh no. Fair. All right, well, there's two more brackets, so good luck. We're definitely going to be seeing you. Oh, no. All right, well, I think we're going to probably see you in the other one, so. Are you having fun? Yeah. Awesome. That's what we like to hear, so. All right, well, go cheer on the combatants, and we'll talk to you later. That was DK, everybody. All right, hot swap 2.0. All right, back to our... Original scenes. Mm, feels have good. Feels Menthol right. Menthol versus uh, Ryan here. We got Ryan back with that hike. Menthol stinking, uh, sticking with the link. Um, we should also make a point that this is, in fact, the second of the final two. This is. So, so we have Triple M going into the, into the semifinals. He's going to the grand finals. Now we have the Sir. I'm just going to start referring to Ryan as the, the sir. sir. Yeah. Playing with the legs crossed. Cool oh, yeah. Sir. I mean, it looks like he's a, he's a little more intense now. But, he's, uh, he's actually not even playing. He's, he's looking at his old blue money, like, oh, oil Oh, and that stocks. was it. Uh, yeah. I took that first one, so Menthol wanted an answer that time. He was in the danger zone, but wanted in respond. She was tired and tired of him, so. Yep. We'll see what Menthol can, uh, can bring to the table. Yeah, Menthol obviously, like, he's, he's, bringing, he's bringing the clutch today. You know he what is. I mean? He's, is, I, don't, I wouldn't count him out yet. It's funny because I've noticed I've noticed quite a few games where I honestly thought that uh, that he wasn't going to make it because he had such a poor first match. But he has uh, this innate ability of, of flip flopping. Zone. Yeah, well, not only that, but just like flip flopping from round one to round two. Yep. That being said, do you think that he's in uh, that he's in an, a higher advantage because he took round one against Ryan? Um, no, Ryan took round one against him. Oh, I'm sorry, I had it backwards. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So I think. So then, that being said, we'll, we'll probably see a game three if I had to make a bet. Well, I, I don't know. I think, I think at these higher levels, you can't just give up first rounds, and I think it's going to punish him a lot more than it was at, at the uh, other ones. So, I don't, I don't like the two link pick against him, so that might, you know, that might go. But well, it's a little link player, on but, link action, if you know what I'm saying. We found the missing link. Yep. It There's is. some links in the chain. Chain link fence. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're done. Link, link jokes aside. I bet, I bet you they have CenturyLink internet. Yeah, they're probably part of a link show. <laughs> all right, I'm serious though. All right, all right, all right, all right. Back to the show. They probably run Linksys. No. <laughs> all right. <laughs> anyway, that being said, Ugh. Menthol, you know, as the uh, adult link here, hero of time versus hero of time. 
uh, Ryan, I, man, I don't even know. Both of them are ba both of them are trying to play the same game. So it, it's it's like this hopscotch game. It's double dutch for the middle, is what it is here. There we go. Mental, I mean, that 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 being even back. said, I could see this. You know, that being said, I could see Ryan still uh, sitting in a, in a good position here against 88 percent of Dalton Lake. Oh. Yeah, I mean, you know, the thing is, like, if he won, I mean, he won the last game. I still had both stocks against Link Zero. You know, why, why switch it up? I guess maybe he was afraid of being red, but yeah, Mental's got, you know, he's a one-trick pony. He's really good with Link, but I mean, that's that's kind of it. So yeah, he could um, be, uh, he could be looking at it, you know, considering the fact that, uh, like you said, he could be switching it up so it's harder for him to be red. Maybe he's kind of willing to forfeit this second match. Yeah, because he knows that Mental's second match yep. game is really strong. And, uh, mm -hmm. There it is, Menthol with the two-stock win. So exactly. We're like going we said, to game three. Or, uh, and, uh, yeah, and, and as you said, Menthol almost always takes it to game three. Yep. So this this is almost exactly identical and reminiscent to how Menthol kind of makes the games progress. Um, that being said, uh, I mean, we saw Ryan had a clutch first game. We saw Menthol had a clutch second game. It basically was a two and out from both players. And here he is. He's going back to the other. There he is. He's going so for the bread and butter. Maybe, you know, Menthol is staying link. Yeah, so... So both heroes, they know that it's it's game time or pain time right now, and they're they're putting their best foot forward. Oh, they're going rando on game two. Yeah, game oh, Spider-Man in the building. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Batman in the building. I just saw that. Holy cow, we even... I mean, it was cool that we that we pulled the aggro from a basketball team, but apparently we pulled aggro from the Justice League slash, slash the Avengers yeah. there. <laughs> that's, that's pretty cool. Hashtag blast, I guess. Right. <laughs> We're going to now. All right, let's get into game three here. And this also a, a brand new level, closer. Luigi's Luigi's yeah. Mansion is the first so, time that we finally saw this level. That is true. And one thing that we know, one thing I, I can point out for sure, is neither character is a werewolf. Because there is a full moon in the background, and no one's splitting hairs. Well hair, put. So well put. Yeah, no that's always good. Here. Yeah, it's it's important. That's you know that's the kind of questions they want to ask on the first date too. If you really think about it, it's not like do you like long walks on the beach? It's can you walk on the beach during full moon? I don't know. I'm just curious. Yeah. I noticed that that ring is silver. Was it sterling silver? <laughs> Blessed by the Pope. Maybe? Ooh, Ike taking the yeah. first stock, but again, Menthol doesn't give up. I mean, he. he takes it, he rides the lightning, uh, so to speak, and yeah. he's not going to give up. Like, yeah, definitely. Means. Well, and like we said, what I, what I noticed that I missed the first game that I'm noticing now is, is Ryan favoring this Ike because of his of his charge abilities. Yep. And that's where he, he locked out that first stock on Link, but now notice how Menthol has immediately compensated for that. He's pulling out that long distance zoning, so this Ike can't play that game anymore. He's, he's saying, I'm, you know, I want you to just sword fight with me, none of this like ground and pound Ooh. crap. And there you go. There it is. So it's there reset it is. more or less at the second stock here with 0 and 5. And Link, believe it or not, he's actually kind of a meat shield a little bit. He can, he can take yeah, a he decent amount really of damage. Play. So for him to but be sitting so at... Yes, exa oh yeah, both of them. I mean, as far as like their character builds versus their weight, they're heavy. You know, they're not Bowser or DDD heavy, but but no, we saw we saw medium, you know, they can they can take exactly. a punch. And There's that out. charge game though there for Ryan. Is. He's finally got where he wants to be, which is you know, right where he can charge them all up. I think this might spell the end that for could, Menthol here. This yep. is Menthol's gonna do he's gotta get away, he's gotta start zoning him out. There we go. Ryan there we go. Let him, but now he's got yep. the zone game, so Menthol, the story's yep. going back in his favor. You see, but Ike has that rush ability too, which is yep. so so hard for even even the, the good zoning game from Menthol. Yep. To, to be pulling out oh, here. There it is. There it is. Um, this 80 to 100 and got, so though. This could that. really this could go either way. I mean, it's going to come down to punishing. It's going to come down to, to the... Yeah, see, there's the miss, match. and it should have been a follow-up punish by the Ike, but he actually decided to back away there. He's trying to go for the counter on it, but uh, this is going to come down to... Nice shield block. He's yeah, like, oh, to get wow, that's some great, that's some great dancing. He yeah. wants to get that final smash off. But Ooh. will Menthol let him? Ryan's so into it, he went across his legs. Oh, 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 and there it is! There it oh, is. <laughs> what a play. Nice finishing it up. Let's grab Ryan for an interview. Ryan! Ryan! Can grab me for an interview, bud? No, alright. He's, all right, cool. he's a man so of, of fewer words. Well, that does it for the bracket of the Wii U. Yes, yes, So exactly. we're going to set up the GameCube. Yep. So we will be right back, guys. Enjoy some music, and we'll see you in a little bit.
Josh, start talking. Yeah, we got microphone back. We are back. This is the Super Smash Brothers Melee Bracket. The uh, fourth bracket, the Wii One Wii Brawl has been running for a while now, so we're going to get the Melee bra Bracket up and going. And uh, now Melee is what started the competitive Smash scene. So we, uh, the Smash 4 is played better than the Melee. That's what started this all. This game is over 10 years old. And it's the only reason people still buy game games. I mean, this, this is a solid game. It's one of the most powerful Animal Crossing. Uh, I mean, you can get Animal Crossing on 3DS and stuff. But can you create a village? No, not a village. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta have a village, maybe, yeah. So, um, so for, uh, for Melee here, it looks like, based off the competitors, we have, uh, oh, yeah, we have Menfall. We have Menfall. And in fact, that is Earth to Smurf. 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 And uh, it's a Linky Link game. That it is. And Link is one of the, the more used characters. And we saw him a lot in the Wii U. And we're going to see him more in Melee. He's a solid character. So. Yeah. I love him all around, like I said. I mean, I was not saying I did. Big fan of his work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a workhorse. Yeah. 
Um, but that being said, I do know for a fact that as you start uh, downgrading the, the console generations, the, the speed goes down considerably. Oh, when we see the Grand Finals in the 64, uh, he acts like a 97-year-old man. I mean, he telegraphs his swing. So got, like, got he like calls you Monday so that he's like, hey, on Friday about 3 o'clock or so, I'm going to connect my sword to your face. Could you maybe be there then? Ready? It's about that slow. Same with almost all the characters. I think it has some Uh, still, that being said, I think a lot of the players who are playing League are going to have to compensate for uh, that timing, you know, that lack of speed and that agility that, that they're getting as they downgrade the generation. Back to this, you have a straight up street brawl here. Browser and Link, they're both they're in each other's faces. You know, they're just like, you know, take it a smack, give it a smack, you know, it's like. It's like how you start off a wrestling match, you know, you get hands up and you're just like, Hit me! Hit me! Come on! Yeah. Boom! Exactly. Hit me! Boom! Yeah, Don't you know, have pussy! Yeah. <laughs> you knew it! Yeah. And that, now, it was like it started out as like two good friends that were just yeah. like, Sup dude, how's it go? And then like, someone just snapped. Yeah. And it yeah. just started getting real dirty. Yeah. Real ugly. Yeah. Where's your about my sister? Yeah. <laughs> so, Bowser taking the first call here, but... Oh, this is, this is a Corvette Bowser. This is like, he doesn't run when Corp he sprints, he oh, like, yeah. he like gets down, like, like the wheels. <laughs> yeah, I always call him the Corvette. I was really, I was like, it's like his a color scheme, but... He's like the original land tank, like they built the land tank from Star Fox off of his anatomy. They're like, did you see how Bowser was? Yeah, yeah like, we got, 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 so, um, it looks like, again, Menthol taking game two. Game two, I don't yeah. Think, yeah. I think he's ever lost a game two. So now we're going back link to link. It's like, come on, dude, change your MO already. Like, you know, the detectives nah, are going to track you down at the point in time because you keep, you keep committing every crime. Oh, oh, no, 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 just, he's a he's bad got man. the voodoo. He's like, I got the comeback, and yep. he's getting another comeback. And now, now they're now they're slapping each other again. Oh no! Oh no! Bad, bad for night. He's like, I'm sorry, dude. I didn't know that we were playing with one stock. He fixed that for you. He just sort of walked off. Gentlemen's stage. agreement. Oh yeah, definitely. And Ryan's not even playing. He learned that from you, TK. Yeah, he learned, he learned that from Ryan. He's like, I can say good sir, but one stock. <laughs> but uh, mental is taking advantage of your lack of points. Uh, another thing you're gonna have to watch in, uh, in the melee, and especially in the 64, is when you're playing the links uh, and that chain grab. If you if you whiff on chain grab, it is it's such a long play. The punishment potential is humongous. So um, that's why I almost never mess around with grabs in the early courses uh, because of that reason. The other thing too, melee is that you don't, your recovery isn't as good as it is in like brawl. Great hit! Oh! Not enough. As I was and saying, there it is. recovery isn't up. Mental is taking, taking, taking it. From the comeback, living in the day of the zone. <laughs> smurf is smurf, the earth is smurf, throwing up the signs. Yeah. Great match. So that was actually. Herb the Smurf took the victory. No, he didn't. Uh, that's what the bracket's telling you. It does? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, so, yeah. Unless, I am uh, sorry. unless our moderators are wrong, no, Herb, Herb the Smurf is Herb, Herb, Herb the Smurf. He's the one taking the win. Final round of the first round of Oh, oh gotcha. Yeah. I was like, whoa, we're already the final two and we're all that's exciting. <laughs> okay, alright, so uh, hey, to reiterate what Matt was saying, it's the it's the basically the end of the first tier in uh, in Brawl. We brawl. So just like earlier this morning we had uh, we had 64 playing while the U, Wii U was playing as well. And uh, now that we've switched over to Melee, uh, we got uh, Brawl playing on the Wii on the other console as well. So uh, we have guys kind of giving us updates like we've been giving you. You guys can also uh, follow along in our in our challenge brackets. Uh, Josh, can you throw up those those brackets that we have there? We can throw up the uh, the current Melee bracket and the, uh, the Wii Brawl bracket. And 
of that way, even when we're giving you updates and stuff like that, you guys get uh, a real-time uh, follow-up for the channel launch because it, it updates in real time. So as soon as a winner is, is decided, boom, hey, refresh, and you got what you got. Uh, you got what's going on there. So uh, looks like we're just setting up. We got Triple M or and uh, oh, uh, Swagmander. I don't even have to look at some of these names anymore. I'm just starting to recognize them. And oddly enough, Swagman are not going with Yoshi and Melee, which I think is, uh, is interesting. Maybe uh, maybe he's going to be switching it up or something like that. But, but uh, you know, like I said, not going for the Yoshi. But uh, I did I did see that again that the Triple M not going for the Ness. Wow. So, so we have a Pokemon battle we have, here. Well, not only that, but we have two players today that have basically made a name for themselves with like one hero and one world. hero alone, and neither of them in this match are picking their, their A-list hero, their go-to guy, so what's your, what's your take on that? My take on that is Melee is more competitive, so maybe they don't want to... Maybe they don't want to use their ace in the hole right off the bat. You know, like I said, if they're gonna, they're playing the poker. They know when to hold them, know when to fold them. Yeah. You know, know when to walk away. Know when to take it there. Yeah. So maybe they're just, uh, just you know, throwing their second best card down. Or sure, sure. It could be another. T it could be a tactic too, where maybe they're trying to go for a more versatile hero so they can advance further. That's true. So yeah. they can advance further in the in the bracket, and then you know maybe they're hoping for that final. Exactly. Yeah, the other thing too is I think the advantage goes to two people up on the stage. You, know, you take out Pikachu's Thunderbolt, uh, which is a huge yep. corner of, uh, right there. Yep. And, you know, it's he in found the, the gap. Found though, the, so the gap. The Split the gap. And Swag takes an early stock. Uh, don't uh, don't be mistaken, Karate Kid version of uh, oh, yeah. Jigglypuff. Is... One sweep the leg and Pikachu's done. Yeah. All those heads pretty much mean that it was like Mr. Miyagi. Oh, you know. Illuminati confirmed. Illuminati confirmed. Mis yeah, Mr. <laughs> Miyagi's magician. Show me a chicken puff. Oh, and there it is with the head, but Pikachu's getting yeah, freaking uh, boards, yeah. man. <laughs> Just Jigglypuff <laughs> is, you know, right? But there it is. Nope. 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 The, you know, the Pikachu's got bad recovery, got though. Pikachu is, uh, There it is. Okay. Yeah. With the belt. Pikachu! Right. Buff here back in that one. Oh, look at oh, that. that huge Thunderbolt lightning is so gun. dangerous. It is so devastating. I forget how, I forget how devastating it is. Oh, it's super Especially against oh. Jigglypuff, because she can be thrown around. Well, she has, you know, she yeah, has yeah. recovery, but she's also weak. And she's it's, super light. Yeah. She's, yeah, she's, she's, she can get sent flying pretty easily. Right? There you go. There's there some good go. combos so, in the jungle in there. Finally <laughs> taking the, the percentage uh, battle book. Yeah. One Thunderbolt from Swag, and it's all over. Oh man, it could be, it could be key. Yeah. You know, it was gotta, you know, it he's could gotta be find a the one gap. and done game here. He's gotta find the guy. He's trying to go over there. He's with a right smash! Wow. There he is, the winner takes game one. Game one, so game one going to Triple M. Yeah, going to go to Jigglypuff. It's Jiu Jitsu Puff. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like karate, I mean, like what headbands. I just was trying to look at like a nice play on words. With you like mixed Marshall, Miyagi, yep. I don't know. Crazy. But again, mixed uh, Marshall M and M's. Going, going for it. The, final, it. the final M is actually a sub acronym of M and M's. <laughs> that's a sub sub acronym of M and M's. M &M's. Uh, all the all the M. So it's pretty much M. Oh, oh no! Swag Master, no! Swagmander! What do you do this? Quick attack did not work as quickly as possible. Oh, yeah, I think right. against him, you can't give him that advantage because he's gonna capitalize. Um, it's too oh, fucking sure. solid. Yeah. Only see a rest, though. I'd like to see a rest finisher. So there it is, he tries! Oh, he tried! He's punished by the he Thunderbolt. He read your right there. Yeah. He had it, though, with that, that Pikachu dance just... Danced out of out of range. Just yeah, so it's so hard. Oh, that not, oh yeah, that's it. Oh wow! Get the two star crit. Basically, almost a second strike in the second game. Oh yeah, I really like to see that swag going on. You don't like to see anybody going out like that.
not not like this. You know? But like we said, I feel like we're kind of uh, beating a drum here when we when we talk about this. But like we said, as these games are progressing, and, and I think when we get to the grand finals, it's going to be almost heartbreaking to see some of these these players basically deteriorating mentally. You know, and you it's know? it's going to happen. That second like game was all mental error. Yep. All it mentally was. Wrong. I mean, it was done in a minute, two yeah. self destructs, and unfortunately, that's how it goes. So. And it stinks. I mean, we, we had talked to Swagman several times, and he, he advanced a long, long way in a lot of brackets, and so he was one of one of the better ones today. And, yep. You know, wow, just kind of for his story, so to speak, to kind of end that abruptly, it just doesn't seem uh, Maybe just worth it. We should have brought out the Yoshi. I think that's what, that's what yeah. it was. But. Yeah, hard to say. Hard to say. A lot, yeah. of, a lot of things could have went. I think it could have went to a lot of different ways there. So, uh, yes, but that, that being said, um, moving on, next one here. Let's see. Pele, it looks like it's going to be a double X atrocity versus Phil. Does that look like a. Uh, yeah, that looks, that looks like a Phil and an atrocity if I ever saw I, one. I, I would agree with that statement. Right, you are, Ken. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bold move, Cod. Let's see if it works out. It's good. There's, a, there's a wild Nick Kramer appears on the camera. There he is. Just for a moment, though. Blink and you'll miss him. Well, <laughs> they, say when you, they say when you see a wild Nick Kramer, it's at least seven more weeks of spring break. <laughs> well, we know that this is our console because Nick Ness's gamer oh, yeah. tag is just chilling yep. there, waiting to be picked. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Ness. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's Axe spelled backwards. So tax. Uh oh. So Illuminati confirmed. Yeah. We, we better be playing above the clouds. Yeah. <laughs> Are we on the cloud level? Uh, otherwise, uh, otherwise the IRS the is all over us. Yeah. Um, so let's see what uh, fixes his name. He's gonna fix. Now here's something we haven't talked about. Oh, you're looking at you're looking at the player cam right now. This is something that I always like to kind of focus on and talk about. It's just the the mannerism, or I should say, like. Uh, Like earlier today, I mean, I saw the one kid who was playing. Jumping, you know, jumping, jumping around, up and down, you know, yeah. You know, see players like Ryan, who, I mean, his legs crossed, couldn't have a care in the world. You know, so that being said, when you look at some of these players, do you, do you personally as a caster, maybe uh, also as a player in tournaments, do you see that as something unnerving if, if you walk up and kind of see someone who's like, like, oh, like, 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 um, not, I mean, not really, because honestly, when I'm sitting there, I'm so in the zone, you know, usually I'm wearing a hoodie, I got the hood up, I'm zoning everything out. There is nothing going through my mind other than gaming, and I learned a lot from playing in a lot of, uh, I used to be a uh, pro disc ball from playing in tournaments, and there's literally, like, when I'm focused, nothing can distract me. There's, you know, it doesn't matter what's going on, it's game time, I'm focused on the game, the other person can be wearing a clown suit, you know, and like, it doesn't matter, it could be like shooting water, it doesn't matter, I am stone face. So, to me, I mean, that's like, it doesn't ever get to me. Yeah. And uh, you'll see a lot of players, you know, like, right now, you see right here, just the stone cold stand the team, they're definitely talking back and forth. Um, neither one of them, they're not like that ice man, so they're, they're, you can tell they're, they're relaxed, uh, but each player has a different like, style to them. Oh, exactly, definitely. And, and that's why I like to ask, you know, I've, I've talked to Oh, no! no there's another slip up! Advantage. The SG right there. But I think playing this game after the Wii U, um, like I was saying before, the, the companies in Melee are so unforgiving compared to, you know, Wii U, so maybe they're just overestimating how far they can go off the stage, but that's just another part of the point that Gamer Donald brings. Those legacy tournaments, no one else does it. That's, as you can see, it brings another edge to the Oh, for sure. And we heard that in the last also this week today when we talked to a lot of these gamers because we brought, we 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 brought 64 and the game and started it all. And a lot of these kids are like, I didn't even know there was a 64. Yeah. What so is this? You know, yeah. How do you hold this thing? Yeah, some of them, I mean, some of them didn't even know how to hold the 64 controller more or less play the game. You know, and you're hearing the comments like, you want to lock all the characters? And we're like, yeah, yeah. that's a 64, dude. Yeah. 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 Be happy we got 10 characters on that game. We were, back in my day, we were happy we had six heroes. Oh, yeah. You know, okay. and, you know it's true. Like, we, we, had, we had quite the time getting the 64 game. Like, oh, oh, yeah. That was, that was amazing.